Open up. Open up, brother. All right, Shalom. 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 We're going to give a little praises. Louis and honors to. A double honors to our elder apostles and bishop elders, a great millstone who taught us this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom we used to call Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To you we say Shalom. And without further ado, and we're going to get straight into the scriptures. The Wadi Yaw Bashim Yaw Shai. Well, line us to be out here for another Saturday. That's right. God. And uh, God. I'll get it started. What other scriptures do we have? Uh, Matter of fact, start at 2nd second. Second. Nessus, chapter 15, verse 1. Love of the shot. All right, this is the book of 2nd Nessus, chapter 15, and verse 1. And it reads Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right. And who is the Lord's people? Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And the Lord said to speak thou in the ears of his people the words of prophecy. The word prophecy means to say before. Pro means before, and Fasai means to say. And we are saying the things that are written within the scriptures that will happen in the future before they occur. Right. That is what it means to prophesy, okay? So, Go ahead, bro. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, go ahead. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper. Right, and they're written in the Holy Scriptures. That is the paper that is it is referring to. Go ahead. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. For they are faithful and true. And although these prophecies may seem to tarry, can you please get the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter? Go ahead. Right. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, so the things that are written within the scriptures, which are the visions, are yet for an appointed time. Everything in a season. Is it not written to everything there is a season? And a time to have your purpose under the heaven? A time to love and a time to hate? A time of war and a time of peace. Shalom, bro. Okay. Yeah, we got you. Got you. Go ahead, bro. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie." Read it again. Have a group two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, so the vision is yet for an appointed time. Go ahead. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. So although these prophecies may seem to tarry, which means to delay, at the end they shall speak and not lie. Because the Lord Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, is not a man that he should lie. Now that the son of man, Yahweh Shai, that he shall repent. Or if you paraphrase in the scripture. Go ahead. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, though it delays, or it may seem to delay, wait for it. Go ahead. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. It will surely come, it will not tarry. So these prophecies within the holy scriptures will surely happen. Whether you hear or whether you forbear. Right. So now let's go, go back to 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, in verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. What is the chief imagination against the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect? By our enemies. With the chief of them being the Edomites. Right. The so-called Caucasian race. Right. To chip us with the MOTB. That is their chief imagination against us. To destroy us but let not the imagination against thee trouble thee right uh -huh. go ahead let not the incredulity of them trouble thee and let not the incredulity of them of two-thirds of the nation of israel right. trouble thee the word incredulity means unbelief so let's read that again from the top Baba Kusha. second Ezra 15 and 3 mm -hmm. fear not the imaginations against thee Right, so fear not, again, the imaginations against thee. 
Did not Yahweh Shai promise us that if you keep the words of his patience, that he will keep us from the hour of temptation? That's right. Which is the hour of trial through the idea of piercing. Right. When they will cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's right. So don't let that imagination that is against us put fear in us because the Lord is with us. Although we're in the flesh, the Lord is with us. The Lord allows us to understand that things are easier said than done. Nonetheless, we have to have faith and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let us look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and were forsaken. That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Right, so fear thou not, O beloved of the nation of Israel, O elect of the nation of Israel, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is with thee, right. is with us. Lord is willing, we are of the elect, as well as you brothers and a few sisters. Go ahead. It says, Be not dismayed. For I am thy power. Be not dismayed. Don't be in fear. Don't be troubled. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our power. And since the Lord is with us, who can be against us? No one. Go ahead. It says, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. And how is the Lord going to strengthen us? With his knowledge, with his words, with faith. The scripture says that wisdom and knowledge shall be disability of thy times, the strength of salvation. Strength. The fear of the Lord is, is his treasure. treasure. Whose treasure? An elect is like man's treasure. The greatest gift a man can have on this earth among the nation of Israel is the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Charity, mercy, the fruits of the spirit. That's right, brother. Go ahead. It says, Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right, so the Lord's going to uphold his elect with the right hand. And who's the right hand of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai right. is the right hand of Yahweh. That's right. That's right, brother. And the heavenly father Yahweh will uphold his elect with his right hand, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai the right hand of his righteousness. Go ahead. It says, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed. Read that. Look at that word, incense. Right. Baba Kishah. Yeah. 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 This is the word um, give me a second. I N C E N S T -E, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, like if you want to get it the, the regular word, or you want me to go? You can get the, the you can get the regular word. Okay. And then okay. you can also get the, uh, the blue. Yeah. I got it in the blue letter. Okay. This is the word. And since it says, "Kara, Kara," it says to be hot, furious, burn. See that? Become hot. Fear is burned. In other words, all those that have hatred against us, right. all those who burn against us, all those that are furious against us. Right. And who are they? The heathen nations, right. including two thirds of our own people. Right. Is it not written that they hate him that rebuketh in the gates? Right. Yep. And they abhor him, they avoid him that speaketh uprightly. That's right. If you hate something, you can obviously avoid it, right? That's right. That's right bro. Go ahead, bro. It says, to be angry with. See that? To be angry with. Go ahead. Uh, that was it. That's so it. they hate the good and love the evil. Lock, bro. Lock. Lock. They hate the good and they love the evil. Right, yeah. So it's no surprise that they hate him that rebuke him in the gates. Right, right. In the chief places of concourse, in the highways and byways. And they abhor him, they avoid him that speaketh uprightly. So go ahead. Second, uh, 
Yep. Just read them, bro. Yep. It says, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee. All those that hate us. Right. All those who have anger against us. Right. Go ahead. Shall be ashamed. Shall be ashamed. And that's in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, I believe the uh I believe the fourth chapter or the third chapter, when it speaks about how is they're gonna say, is this how is this man delivered? Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. The same man that you were scoffing and scorning and mocking. That's right. So go ahead. All they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Go ahead. They shall be as nothing. They shall be as what? As nothing. As nothing. Yeah, how about you? They shall be as nothing. All right. Because they're going to be destroyed right along with this man's kingdom. So go ahead. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Who strive against us? Two thirds of the nation of Israel. The heathen nations. With the chief of them being the Edomites. The scripture says, He that departed from evil make of him, make of himself a prey. That's right. So there is that striving. Go ahead, bro. Oh, that was it. I got a, I got a quick precept for you. Go ahead. It's the book of First. It's like in Second Timothy, chapter one, verse seven. Because what the brother just read in Isaiah forty-one, it says, "Fear thou not." Uh, it says, "Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Right. Be not thou dismayed." Right. right. So the scriptures tell us to fear thou not. Why? Second Timothy one and seven says. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Right? And the brother uh, Quan Wap just mentioned the book of Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay? Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. What's written in the scriptures, what we've encouraged to do through the Holy Spirit, all right, without faith and our fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that'll keep us stable in the time to come. Right. Okay. Because contrary to popular belief, all hell is about to break loose here in Babylon the Great. Right. So we've been encouraged to fear thou not, be not dismayed. Okay. Because the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear of this world, of what Esau Edom could do to us. All right. We have the truth, the knowledge. All right. The prophecies are on the side of the elect and That's those right. who fear Yahweh by Shai. Yep. All right. Hey, and they're, they're a detriment to the other nation. Okay, you mentioned that they're on the side of the elect, right? But they're a detriment to Esau and the other nation. All right? So these prophecies that we are praying to come to pass, and they will, and they are. We're living in them. We're seeing them, we're watching them. It's for our benefit. You know, you would look at and say these, these guys are crazy out there of preaching some end of the world uh, narrative, right? But all we're really saying is we want life to begin. We want right. the real world to begin. Right. We This ain't life, all right? We don't feel alive here, all right? All right? Just like the scriptures say, I believe it's in Second Peter, I believe three and one. You can get that. Knowing this, that in the last time they shall come scoffing. <laughs> spirit, bro. Yo, <laughs> spirit, man. Right? I'm just coffee drinking my effort. Did they drink them scoffee drinking niggas, man? I got it. Yeah, I got it. Bring Second it Peter, three and what? So like in Second Peter, three and three. Knowing this, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it back to one of my old jokes. One of my old jokes was, what do you call a, a nigga that continually comes up against the prophets? Or what is what is what is what is a scoffer drink scoffy. that continually comes up against the, against the men of the Lord? Scoffy. 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 That's what they do. <laughs> they drink right, scoffy, bro. That's, right. yeah. That's their morning, lunch, and dinner. So go ahead and scoff. Because this scoffers have always been here. Yeah. Hell, what do you think Noah was dealing with? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Noah was dealing with scoffers. Right. There's a whole lot of them too. Uh -huh. So it's no different than this time. Go ahead. It says 
repeat it again. Second Peter 3 and 3, knowing this, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and after saying, their own desires, they're selling everything that ain't nailed down. That's right. All right, they're having Israelite parties. That's right. They're not, they're not, they're not mortifying their flesh. They're not following the example that Yahweh Shai set. That's right. Okay. Eve is absolutely finished. Out of order. Through. Go ahead. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Where is the promise of his coming? It's like, isn't that what they've been saying uh, to us? Yeah. We've been saying this for, for forever, right? Right. right. Saying the world's gonna to come to an end and the world is still here, right? Alright, so we know you people's attitudes out here. That's right. And you're nothing but a bunch of scoffers at the end of the day. That's right. Because you're not for the word. Read on. It says, For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So we've been doing what we always been doing. It ain't gonna be no the end of the world, nothing. All right? Well, you could go ahead and believe that bullshit all you want. That's right. Because yep. you're going to find out. That's right. You're going to find out uh, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in the most... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't even put it in the words. Hey, vicious and brutal you're gonna way. You're going to find it in the most vicious and brutal way. Unprecedented way. An unprecedented way. Come on. All right? Because the attitude is we're going to continue to do what we've been doing because nothing ain't happened to us like you said it was gonna happen to us. Well, guess what? They were saying the same thing to Noah mm. until that rain hit and then it was all over. That's right, yep. Had all kinds of people trying to get it. Hey, they was trying to, you can imagine the pandemonium that was going on. Oh yeah. Like the real, the real drama that was going on uh, surrounding Noah's Ark. Right. Yeah. Really think Spirit. about that. Spirit. People was out there fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to, trying to, you know, trying to strong arm the the, the door open. Trying to beat the door in. Brung all kinds of tools to try to pry the door open. And the Most High sealed that Ark. Man. That's right. That's right. Cause they don't want none of, none of you scoffers are gonna go unscathed. You're gonna eat your words. That's right. We're talking about true scoffers, man. We ain't talking about those that, that like Apostle Paul spoke about, that he could catch with guile. Cause you have certain, you have certain jakes that you can, you can, you can, you can work with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? We talking about those that just don't believe. So hey, man. It's gonna come down to it. So prepare, prepare to meet your judgment. Okay. I got a preset. Check and see how high is Mount Everest because of Mount Everest. This is Genesis chapter seven, verse 19, verse 18, verse 17 actually. <laughs> Genesis chapter seven, verse 17. Yes, sir. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth. The flood was 40 days upon the earth, man. And we ain't talking about a regular thunderstorm. We're talking about something that ain't never happened on the earth before. Before it happened. 40 days. You know a day with the Lord is as a thousand years? That's right. Read on. And the waters increased and bear up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters. And the ark went upon the face of the waters. Because why? All of the wickedness that the Most High saw that, the, that that man was doing on the earth, they weren't going to repent from it. So he had to bring something that never happened before. All right? So what makes Babylon the Great any different than these times from the beginning? The Lord said he declares the, the end from the beginning. That's right. That's right. It doesn't make Babylon the Great an exception no. to the rule of not That's being right. destroyed. That's right. That's right. The scriptures even compare Babylon the Great to Sodom, Gomorrah, and the three other neighboring cities, man. And what happened to them? 
the Lord rained fire from the heaven. Some, another thing that ain't never happened before on the earth. So it's established. Because, because the hearts of men are setting them to do evil, they're not going to repent. So now the judgment is going to roll forth in due time. Read on. Right. Verse 18. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven you know were covered. You know how the earth is, bro? For water to compass the earth? Come on, man. How you gonna that out? And you, and, 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 and don't even try to use Noah getting drunk as a means of him being an undisciplined drunkard, man. He was rejoicing, man. Wouldn't you rejoice? Wouldn't you have a drink if you've seen everybody around you destroyed except for your family, your immediate family? That's why Noah got so damn drunk in his in his uh in, his, in the ark, man. Because all of the hell he was catching. Right. Right. Yep. And there's a mixed emotions that came with it. Yeah. <laughs> now check this out, bro. Now it says. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth and all the high hills, right? The high hills. All the high hills that were under the heaven, the whole heaven were covered. Now, I asked the brother to look up how high is the peak of Mount Everest. Mm. What does it say? It says Mount Everest is a peak in the Himalayan mountain range at 29,032 feet. 29,000 what? 32 feet. 32 feet. It right? is considered the tallest point on earth. It is considered the tallest point on earth. Now listen to what the scripture says here right now. It says, All the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heavens were covered. Right? Check this out, bro. 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. So that shows you something. A cubit is way more than what Esau told a cubit is. It was a lot bigger than what they say it is now. Yeah. If 15 cubits was to cover the whole face of the earth at the time, that has to be thousands of feet. Yeah, above the highest Above peaks. the highest above mountain, the highest man. Yeah. It's damn near 30,000. Yeah. <laughs> and what does it say 15 cubits are in inches? It says uh, 15 cubits is approximately 22 feet. See that? 22 approximately feet. 22 approximately, feet. approximately, approximately 22 feet. So that, so the waters were, were approximately 22 feet above the highest peak. That's crazy. So think about that. And Mount Everest is what? 29,032 feet and 32 feet. So 22 feet above that is damn high, bro. Uh, hella high. That's yeah. hella high, bro. <laughs> so the Lord really did a lot of damage yeah. to the wicked back then. Where, where are you reading from? Um, are you reading Genesis chapter 7? You know what? Sirach 40. Yes, uh, Sirach 40, I believe it is. Chapter 9. I'm, um, Sirach 40, verse 9. That's heavy, bro. <laughs> the book of Ecclesiasticus, Ooh, chapter 40, and verse 9. You drink after that. It says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. Yep. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Mm. Wow. Mm. Right into that, bro. Like I said, I was I was thinking about that precept on my way down. Just to hear y'all going into the oh, flood, bro. Uh, read that again for the bro, man. Yo, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? Bro. That's why. Come on, bro. That's heavy. That's right. Sirach chapter 40, verse 9. It says, death and bloodshed, yeah. strife yeah. and sword, calamities, famine. Death, bloodshed. This is the beginning of time. We've been seeing it. 
Yeah. Since the beginning of time, we talking about the flood. That's part of the destruction that came during the uh, beginning. Y'all about you, y'all about that. Shalom, bro. You know? Okay. Read that again, bro. Death. It says death. Death. And bloodshed. Bloodshed. The Most High is with death. That's right. The Most High is with bloodshed. Yeah. yeah. It says strife and sword. Strife and sword. This world is full of strife, riff riffraff, one of one against the other. Yep. You know? And it says sword, right? Sword. Hey, um, Revelation the sixth chapter. That's the scripture tell you that. You will get it, bro. Somebody get that real quick. Revelation the sixth chapter, because as a spirit, man, we in a time of judgment. And that's what the Lord is getting ready to bring. Great judgment on this planet Earth. And before he does that, he have to. According to the word of the prophecies of the scriptures, he have to send his prophets before it happens. Which is why we out here. We ain't out here for no other reason but to declare the acceptable day of the Lord, to warn the people of what's to come. And the brothers went into the flood. You know, the flood was, it was, it was yo, bro. I mean, the, the elect, the rest of the elect had to have been up in the heavens yeah, when that shit yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know? It had to have been up in the heavens when that shit happened. It only makes sense. Heavy judgment, you know, the Lord was like, all right, I ain't sending y'all down here yet. Let this destruction pass. Yeah. And then it only makes sense because that, that's that's the first death. Right. You know? And if the elect is going to escape the second death, that means the elect didn't even, wasn't partakers in that. Yeah. That was for yeah. the wicked only, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't, the, the elect was, had, couldn't have been on earth when that shit happened. You know, and then the, the 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 start of the elect coming back through um through Shem, the line of Shem, our facts add, and the list goes on. You know, so the elect is gonna escape the next death, which somebody could get that in um the book of Second Peter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Um, no, actually, Rewai, you get it because Ayash was reading um uh, Sirach. Uh, uh, what do you want, Elder Second bro? Peter's. Um, Second Peter's. What is it? The third chapter, the second death. Um, oh, read yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You want Revelation in the meantime? Oh, yeah, yeah, get Revelation the sixth chapter. This is Revelation chapter six, verse eight. It says, I saw the seven and it says, And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. Mm -hmm. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. Uh -huh. And his name that sat on him was Death, uh -huh. and hell followed with him. Yep. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill the Sword. So this pale horse, so this power, this pale power, so to speak, right? Because all represents power. The Lord is going to give this power to the angel, to one of the angels ordained, uh, according to Sirach, the 39th chapter. Angels and spirits created for vengeance. To do what? To kill. Their power is to kill. All right? Their power is to kill. Matter of fact, when it talks about the red horse, which is in that same chapter, that's the great sword, man. The red horse is, that's, in the, that's the next verse, right? It was, it's more up. Yeah, okay, read that and then go, to, go back down to the pale horse. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And that's the Edomites. That's the Edomites, bro. That's right. It so, goes to show that the main characters of this, of this story are the Edomites and the Israelites. Right. Esau versus Jacob. It's, all, it's always been about Esau versus Jacob versus Esau since the beginning. Right. All right? Why is this? Red horse, these Edomites, um, being signified with great power, because they're the main character. I forget the the um, theatrical term for it, the the, the antagonist, 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 right? Antagonist. Which is the bad guys, right? Yep. If I'm not mistaken, or the, the protagonist, one or the other. Protagonist was, is I, a good guy. Antagonist is a bad guy. So yep, you got Jacob yep. and Esau. Yep. So Esau the protagonist, the yep. which are the good guys, versus the antagonist, which is the Edomites, the bad guys, and everybody else is just fillers. Yep. All the other nations are just fillers. The nations were created to serve point blank period. All right, now they serve in Esau, Edom, but eventually they're gonna serve who? Jacob. So go ahead, bro. Yeah. It says, and there went an, out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. The scriptures tell us that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the, right. when the earth, when the wicked are in authority, the, the, uh, the earth mourns. That's right, bro. You know? Esau's job was to take peace from the earth. Micah, um, what is it? The Micah, Micah 2 and 10. Or rise you and depart, for this is not your rest. It, it was Esau's job to take peace from the earth. Prior to Esau ruling, everybody had their own empires and dynasties and whatnot, right? The only time the Lord brought chaos upon the Israelites, us, is when we went off. Other than that, we were, we were living pros in, um, prosperity. You know, whenever we did right. Matter of fact, that's in the, um, in the book of Judith, because I was... You know, touching on that book, but I forget this um, Ammonite's name. But he said, "Listen, we can't go against these Israelites because if they're doing good by the by their power, 
we're gonna fail. Gonna fail yeah. But if if they do bad by the power, then we could go up against them. Right. So that's the thing. If once we doing good by the Heavenly Father, ain't no other nation can come up against us. So you see, that's why the elect, Lord willing, I'm pointing at these brothers here. You know, even you, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we have that number. Even those that are watching, that 144,000, no right. evil is going to come near us, bro. That's right. You know, the brother read it in Sirach the 40th chapter. These were created for the wicked since the beginning, since the flood. Yeah. And there was given unto him a great sword. Mm -hmm. Which is the ICBM missile. That's the great sword. The Edomites, they, they, they were the ones that were blessed with, their blessing is the sword. That's right. Their blessing is the sword. So, yeah, all these other nations, they got the sword too. But Esau is blessed by it. Right. And you know what? That's going to be his curse. It's not going to be the curse of the other nations. It's going to be the curse of the Edomites. That's right. that Esau's blessing is how this kingdom is about to go down. Showing you that he never really got blessed like that. Because a blessing is supposed to be a blessing forever. Blessing forever. Your blessing is not supposed to turn around and be a curse on you. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Blessings are supposed to reap more blessings. Exactly. That's true. Now the Lord gave us blessings. Yeah. And you know what? If we did wrong, when we did wrong, he took the blessings away. Yeah. The blessings didn't backfire against us. A, a, a curse could backfire against you. So Esau's blessing, which is the sword, really is a curse. So the Lord checkmated him. Checkmated. Yeah. yeah. Verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. Yo. And hell followed with him. Meaning what? People in a grave. Grave. Hell means the grave. So people are going to follow right along and, and, and die, you know, going to that grave. When SHTF, that, this is the beginning of prophecy we're, we're speaking about right here, right now. When all hell get ready to break loose, when the Lord pulls the plug on his society, that pale horse is going to be galloping. And I'm, I'm speaking figuratively because it's not an actual horse. You know, it's the spirit of death that the Lord is going to unleash in his society. And this is going to be the pale horse. Yeah. And power was given unto them over the fourth part yep. of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth the fourth part of the earth represents babylon the great america all right also known as the uttermost parts of the earth or the ends of the earth you know this uh this western hemisphere predominantly america the united states of babylon <laughs> you know they should change the name to to, to usb yeah. united states of babylon yeah, yeah bro this is because it says to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth right mm -hmm. this is jeremiah chapter 15 verse 2 mm. and it shall come That's to like pass somebody could get jeremiah 11 and 11 to hold that okay jeremiah chapter 15 verse 2 and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee whither shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith the lord yahweh such as are for death to death and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So I read that again. This is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Shai, such as are for death to death. And such as offer the sword to the sword. Right, so you are, you are allotted and slated for whatever the judgment is going to be. Whether it's death, if you... The scripture said that there'd be many that was born in vain. Just to die. Yeah. You know? What's your purpose on earth? People never people never really question, question that. Like, why am I here on this earth? Some motherfuckers here just to get put to death, bro. The, the missiles need stubble. Like, when you're about to light up the ground... You can't light up a grill for a barbecue without fucking charcoal. Right. Somebody gotta be the charcoal. Be you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you ever wondered, are you the charcoal? <laughs> I'm talking about these people out here and it's lost in the sauce. You may just be the charcoal. You don't want to be the charcoal for this, you know, grand finale destruction the Lord is getting ready to bring. You know, so such as for the death, death and sword, sword, go ahead. It says, such as are for the famine to the famine. In other words, the charcoal was created to get burnt. So these people were created to get burnt. The stubble, yeah. It says, and such as are for the famine to the famine, uh -huh. and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So in other words, the famine that's going to hit, the Lord knows who is going to starve and die in this famine, regardless of what. And then, you see, that's, that's the fear of the Lord that we, that we are pushing or trying to push or convey to the Israelites. 
fear Yahweh by Shemel Shak. The worst way to die is through a famine. Go ahead. And I will appoint over them four kinds. A famine see. take a long time to die. Oh yeah. Like the flood was bad. The flood was terrible. Just to just to see the Lord opening up the heavens and rain, mm -hmm. something that was never seen before, the fear of the unknown. What's gonna happen? Knowing you're gonna die, your adrenaline pumping right. and rushing. Right. Yep, yep. You know, the, the fear and the scarce and just everything all at once. You know, you see lakes and ponds and bodies of water just gushing up with high waves of water. That's the waters and the fountains opening up from the deep. And then rain on top of that. that that's an instant death. But you know what? The Lord's going to terrorize you before you die. That's the spirit of the brothers of what? You see the face of oh, fear on yeah, the Oh, yeah, yeah. Scream from the camera. camera. <laughs> that's just thirst. going into the fear, man. Yeah, yeah. This is what, you know, imagine what the people will experience. Oh, wow. Scream for the camera, bro. Yo, that's just a scream for the camera. Wow. You know? That's fair. That's the fear. Right? Exactly, bro. The look of pain, fear, agony on, it, on these people's faces. You know, that was that was terrible, but you know what? That famine is, 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 is cruel. You're going to wish you could die. You're going to want to die. Yeah. The Lord is going to not allow you to commit suicide and have your body, your, your spirit trapped. You're just not going to muster up the spirit and guts to kill yourself. Because you, not you, when I say you, these people are going to have to see it through. Yeah? yeah. It says, I will appoint over them four kinds, save the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. No. That was that's it. it. You know, the Lord got particular spirits created for judgment, and that's exactly what they're going to do. They know who to target when that time comes. That's why Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, said what it says. All right, slay utterly old, young, maid, little children, male, female, but come not near anyone that has that mark. Right. That marked the, the 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 sign of exemption because these are the ones that took heed and listened yeah. and obeyed the words of the Lord while faith was a thing to acquire. Because right. what we doing here is a sign of faith. Because nothing is nothing appears to be happening right now, right? Now if all hell break loose and you, you power outages and shut, you know, choo, 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 you know how the system sound when the grid go down, just yeah, shutting down yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. Choo, 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 choo. You know, people start screaming and panicking. You know. Generators, backup generators start kicking. You know, you hear it power charging and shit like that. Railroads get shut down. You know, guess who people are gonna go to for answers? They don't know it's from a hole in the wall, from a can oh, of paint. Yeah. Oh yeah. But somehow they gonna gravitate like, hey, you know, uh, you know what's going on here? You know? Yeah. Because they know who got the answers. This thing is a spiritual thing, bro. You want to say something, bro? Yeah. You uh, something you mentioned a little earlier, but to your point just now about how with the flood. And we were talking about how high the waters were. You mentioned how the elect had to be in the heavens during that time. Had to be. Well, the same thing is going to happen with this second death, which the brother's about to read in Second yep. Peter, the third chapter. The elect is going to have to be in the heavens on them chariots yep. when that second death comes. When them missiles come and that fire and that brimstone, it, and, and, it, and when the Lord send them missiles, there ain't no way you're going to be here on this earth no. and survive unless. You're a part of, you know, those who are going to go into captivity. Matter of fact, you're still you holding Sirach 40, right? Uh, Read that again, and then Rawai is going to get that. Because it Sirach. clearly tells you that that was created for the wicked. It's right. two-thirds. Okay. Sirach 49. It says, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. Mm. And for their sakes came the flood. Is the, is the elect part of the wicked? No. Nope. The elect is covered. The, the blood of Yahweh Shah covered the elect. Right. All right. So for their sake, whose sake, the wicked's sake, came the flood. All right. The bloodshed, the calamity, the chaos, and this and that. The whole list goes on. For their sake, the wicked, came the flood. So now there's going to be another flood. This time it ain't going to be by water. Go ahead, Ruah. It's the second Peter 3 and 10. It says, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are there. Matter of fact, bro, yeah. on, read up. We got to read up some. Right. This is uh, 2 Peter 3. Let's uh, start with 9. Let me see. Nah. Um. Seven, seven. 
Oh, no, no, no. Read the uh, read, start at 4. Okay. This is 2 Peter 3 and 4. It says, And saying, Where is the promise of his coming? That's the spirit we read just earlier. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. okay. And Connor. saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Verse 5. For this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of thy power the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water right now that goes in that, that that's what you said you read earlier right mm -hmm. all right well full circle again yeah. you know what i'm saying the flood you know showing you that the lord destroyed the old world via the way of water and this one apparently you know as the scriptures say is reserved for a different type of judgment that's right matter of fact you see when apostle john apostle john seen the destruction of babylon he called it a lake of fire, you know, a lake of fire, because from an aerial view, we know, we know water from a distance is, right. is dark blue, it's blue, dark blue from a distance, right? Uh, obviously, when it's up close, it's clear, but from a distance and the depth of the body of water is dark blue. Yeah. And then when it's the waves start crashing, it just looks like a, it just looks like a lake, a lake, a chaotic lake. So from an aerial view, looking right. down, yeah. it was red. What was the red? The red was, the red was the fire from the missiles. It was the it was the impact of them nukes crashing back and forth, um, um, co uh, combustion going this way, that way, this way, that way, crashing and just fire, just fire raising up, a lake of fire, bro. That's what the apostle John seen, and he had to have been seen it from an aerial view to call it a lake of fire. You know, yeah, bird's eye view, satellite view, looking down at it. That looked like a giant. What's a lake? A giant body of water. How, how could you tell a giant body from a, from a distance? So he's watching it from the aerial view, in which matter of fact get on um, um um Isaiah 26. <laughs> yeah. Get that. And also what is this Psalms 91? I forget the exact verse. Somewhere in there, only with thine eyes. But read on for a while. Go ahead. Yeah. This is verse 6. It says, Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Verse 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store. Right, by the same word of the prophecy. If it happened in the old time, by the, by the same word, it's going to happen in these times, by the same word, which is right here, the scriptures, the Holy Bible. All right, by the same word, which Yahweh Shah is the word. Beginning with the word, the word was with the most high, the word was Yahweh Shah, right? So Yahweh Shah spoke it by the mouth of the prophets, and it's going to come to pass. America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. The apostles, men before them, been prophesying that for decades. And here we are doing the same thing. It's going to happen. Okay? It says, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire mm. against the day of judgment mm -hmm. and perdition mm -hmm. of ungodly men. Of ungodly men. Right where it says in the book of Sirach. The book of Sirach 40 and uh, verse 9, it tells you that for their sake, the ungodly, the wicked, were these things created which is why the flood came right. so it's telling you right there so the men were the men were reserved during that flood the righteous they weren't there just like the righteous is not going to be there when the lord sends them missiles you got that yes yeah this is uh isaiah 2, 26 verse 20 it says come my people enter thou into thy chambers Who's the lord's people the lord said my sheep hear my voice That's right the ones that hear his voice is his people right. all right and they go they ain't just gonna hear See, we're hearing a voice now. Guess what? Guess who's going to hear the voice saying, come my people? Not a two-third? Just like the two-thirds ain't hearing the voice of the Lord now, how the hell are they going to hear it when the Lord... It's going to be a secret. Only It's going to be a, it's gonna be a sound that only the elect is going to be able to pick up. You know? Just like it says in Revelation 18, come up hither. And I heard a loud voice saying, come up hither. That voice ain't going ain't gonna to be... It's not going to apply to everybody, bro. It's only going to be the elect. Just like how the, only the elect can hear the voice of the Heavenly Father. And is that and actually listening and comprehending what's being said? You know? Where's the Masaman? Come on. What was that? Where's the Masaman when he says, How is this? How is this? Uh, this, this oh, yeah, the fifth chapter? How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? Yeah. Oh. And that's spirit, because you mentioned the secret and you quote from Psalm 91. Right. Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High Ooh. shall abide under the shadow of the almighty so even his words that we speak in is a secret if you get here brother it's a secret it, the lord the lord is speaking his secret unto you if you could comprehend and perceive what's being said 
the Lord is speaking that secret unto you. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whisper that only, only the elect can hear. Yeah. You know? That secret only the elect can hear. You don't tell nobody else, but here, here's this, here's that. Don't tell nobody else. And even if you tell them, the most high I got the ears blocked. Right. Yeah. Oh, so go ahead. Right. Isaiah the sixth chapter, exactly. Make the hearts of these people fat in their ears, heavy in their eyes so they can't see. At least they what? Convert and be healed. Showing you that the Lord don't want everybody to be healed, man. To hell with these people. Okay? All right, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Uh -huh. All right, and I'm, I'm going to jump down to, because you quote for verse 8. Okay. Um, where it says, only with thine eyes. Yeah. We start at verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. We're just talking about what? Diseases. You can't see diseases. You can't see it. So it's walking in, it's walking in darkness. It's walking in secrecy, so to speak. Showing you that the Lord is going to allow Esau and Edom to unleash some bioweapons, bro. Where, matter of fact, was it, Kilga it was Kilgates that said, he said it. He said more people are going to die from... Um, from from a disease from diseases from a pandemic than World War Three. That's what that nigga said. That's what that cracker said. And is that true? Yes, it is. Because who who's really going to be affected by the nukes? Mainly everybody, that, the people that's here in America. Right. The whole world ain't gonna be nukes. Uh, right. America is gonna be the main place, the only place that's gonna be utterly wasted and burnt up. Right. Other people, will, other nations will be affected by it, but they're not gonna be targeted like America is. But what's gonna get these other people? diseases plagues and pestilence so what that devil said you know more of snickering more people are going to die by diseases and, and pandemics than than they will in world war three because the most high is with it man most high is with that he used esau edom you know kill gates and the higher ups behind the the, the the potions and medicines and concoctions he's using them as his sword and the Lord's gonna start whipping motherfuckers, man. When he when he allowed them at least he's gonna start whipping them, bro. Kinda, Cracking that whip. Yeah. Kind of. He also said, speaking of the C19, he said this next pandemic is gonna get their attention. Mm -hmm. That's what he. That's what he said. That's yep. what he said. Yeah. Right. And I believe that motherfucker. Right. Yeah. yeah. Verse seven. It says, "A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand." No, that's gonna happen. Ultimately, that's gonna happen when when the, when the nukes is destroyed, when the nukes is shot off. You know, but even before that, remember scripture said they shall be cast out in the street like dunk. You know, dunk shit. You know, just, just cast out, just hair. You know, one body hair. You know, stink, cause shit stink too. You know, so these, these dead bodies are gonna stink like shit and they're right. gonna be cast out like shit. Just laying in and you got avoid you avoid them yeah. like you avoid shit on the floor. Mm. You know, walk the other way. Listen, that, you don't comfort shit on the floor, bro. <laughs> these people are not gonna be comforted, bro. They're not gonna be like, oh man, you know, fucking you know, dead body here, you feel sad. Uh, you know, sure. some you know them, them, over, them wicked ass over religious so-called Christians, you know, they, they walk by yeah, doing all that yeah, shit. Yeah, Ain't yeah, nobody yeah. gonna be doing that, man. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers gonna avoid you like the plague when shit when people right. start dropping like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 5. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask? How thou do it? How you doing? Are you everything all right? <laughs> During the time of Jacob's trouble. Hey, yo, you good, bro? Oh, no. You know? No. All bets are off. Because iniquity shall abound. No love and man, you shall wax cold. People ain't going to have no love for nobody out here, bro. No love. There going to be no more love. That's just going to be gone. It's going to be a thing oh. of the past. Compassion, care, and, and, and empathy and all that. Gone. Gone. You're going to see a whole new breed of savages when the Lord turn up. All right, when you howl by me, how shall I turn up? Yeah, dog. Uh, Psalms 91 to 7, read it from the top. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall come, but it shall not come nigh thee. But it shall not come nigh thee. It's not going to touch you. It's not going to come unto you. It's not going to affect you. It's not going to bother you. It's not going to kill you. It's not. Come on, bro. This is what we're fighting for right here, right now. This is what we're fighting for. If we know this is going to happen, then keep on fighting. Yeah. Verse 8. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So you, we're going to be eyewitnesses. Lord, when I say we hoping to be part of that number, wow. we're going to be eyewitnesses to what the Lord is about to unfold in this society. Only with our eyes, we're going to see the reward of the wicked. 
the reward of the, of the wicked, the brother read it in Sirach, the 40th chapter, death, strife, killing, pestilence, and the list goes on. All right, that's their reward. Matter of fact, everybody's going to have to um, give an answer to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai when that day of judgment comes. All right, according to your works. The scriptures tell us that. According to what you did in the flesh while you had the grace period, right? Because we we, we, on, we on the grace right now. That's right. The Old Testament, the law, statute, commands, we couldn't keep it. You know, we, we were, we were, we are messed up. We're, we're, we're uh, vain creatures. We're feeble, you know, like the scriptures tell us, right? The, uh, the creature was not subject to vanity, or the creature was subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the will of him that made him, which is the most high who made us subject to this vanity. It wasn't our will. It was the Lord's will. So that was the old covenant. Yahweh Shah, you know, he signed off on the new covenant, which the new covenant is Jeremiah 31. Right. Verse 31 and various scriptures, Ezekiel goes into, I believe Ezekiel 36, um, Hebrews the 8th chapter. You know what I'm saying? That's the new covenant when we're going to receive the law, statute, right. commandments right. in our inward parts. Right? So right now, we're in between. We're leaving the old, approaching the new. Yep. We right there in between. And like the apostles have been doing a video, that in between is called grace. Grace. Just like you got, you got, right, listen. You leave in one apartment, one house, and you you ready to move into the next. For whatever reason, you're getting evicted or you're getting kicked out, you just got to leave. That little period of time before you get kicked out is called a grace period. You know, and then you better have a new one by the time it's time to get the hell up out of there. And the new one is the new covenant. It's already established. It's already waiting for us. The body is waiting for us, man. You know? So are we under, under the new order or are we in between? All right? Are we to keep the law, statute, and commandments? Yes. Yep. It's not done away with. How the hell is it going to be done away with if it's going to be refreshed inside of us? It's going to be a better covenant. You know, Jake out here debating things like this. You know what I mean? Well, what's, what's this debate about, bro? Like, like why why that got to be a debate? Right. Do you not all believe you're Israelites? And, you know what I'm saying? Right. Debate, trying to trap niggas, you know, trap yeah. people on their words and shit. That shit is played out, bro. That shit is right. That shit is strife, bro. That debate shit is played out. If I want to see debate, shit, I'll watch the show about the if I want to see a debate, I'm going to just watch Kamala and Trump go at it, man. Right, right. You know? Even though that's corny, but yeah, bro. Um, that was it, right? Yeah, yeah. So I what? Got Jer what got you got? Jeremiah 11, 11. Yeah. There's a book of Jeremiah 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Right, so I was sending evil. The Lord said, I'm going to send evil unto these people that they will not be able to escape. You're not going to be able to escape what the Lord is bringing. Showing you that no amount, if you're not part of the Lord's elect, no amount of prepping that you're going you to do is going to save you. Nope. Now, you could be part of the elect and you prepping certain things. There ain't nothing wrong with you. Right. If you're part of the elect, you're going to be saved regardless if your, your, your uh, precautionary measures right. are going to help you or not. Right. You're going to be saved regardless. Right. But these people that are, that are prepping, thinking that they, that, you know, they trusting in Egypt, that they got it, you know what I'm saying? That they, you know, that they, their own, by their own strength, they're going to be delivered? Nah. Oh, not, not a chance in hell. Not a chance. You know what I'm saying? Get it, right. It says, Then shall the cities of Judah inhabit, huh? and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. Right. They go cry unto Jesus Christ. Right. When shit the fan, if you've been calling on Jesus Christ, keep it up. Just, don't change tunes now. Yeah. Don't wait for hell to break loose and then say, you know what, you know, Yahweh Shai is the name. I, we was just, we received the 501c3 charter, right. tax exemption. We were just doing what we were commanded to do under under this general, that general. Right. Well, you know what? Th that's on your ass. That's on you. You can't blame, you can't blame Nate. You can't blame your honey. You can't blame nobody else but your own damn self. Straight up. When all hell break loose, you can't look to Yahweh Shah and say, well, you know, Lord, it was actually him that, that caused me to err. Yep. That, mo that one motherfucker always talking about, oh, he, this person caused me to err. Nigga, you went off. That's your business. What the scripture say in Philippians 2 and 12? Work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. You got to be in this thing for yourself, bro. No point fingers at nobody or GMS. They start teaching this and I got offended. So I wasn't with that Israelite stuff. And, you know, they caused me to be a... Well, the scriptures say the only a stumbling block in front of Israel, but guess who the ultimate stumbling block? Yahweh Shah. He's a stumbling block to the two-thirds. Yeah. Not the elect. 
To the elect, he's a cornerstone, but to the two-thirds, he's a stumbling block. So if the Lord ain't with you, every you gonna stumble and fall at everything. Everything is gonna be offensive to you. Oh, I'm offended at this, I'm offended at that. Man, the Lord ain't fucking with you. That's what. Right, right. Yeah, the scripture says, Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself. Work at your own salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. That's right, bro. You in this, at the end of the day, nobody, nobody can force I can't go in no, nobody's minds over here and program them how to do anything. Right. Because you tell, yo, you you tell, you try to correct somebody, you could be your Eve, your woman, trying to get her to do right. Ultimately, she got to want to do right, right? Right, right? You can't force them. Right. You can't. Yeah. You can't put the, hold them back. Even if you, if you go hold somebody at gunpoint for all you want, they still can't be forced to do some shit right. if they don't want to do it. Right. At the end of the day. Yeah. You know? Point, case in point, everybody that shot the J. Nobody, right. nobody forced them, bro. Gave them a little ultimatum and say, yo, if you don't do this, this is going to happen. Oh, you know. Now, now on the internet, I read all the comments. All my job forced me. Mm -hmm. I laugh at them, bro. I laugh. I laugh. I said, like, nobody, nobody forced you. They didn't knock you out. They didn't gas you. They didn't put that, that, um, that, uh, that, that, that wet napkin with that gas on it to knock you out. And then, and strapped you down and started shooting you up. If they ain't do none of that, you weren't forced. You know? But that's either here nor there. But it's just going to be the same thing with the MOTB. That's right. You know, when he, when the scriptures say that he causes all, meaning he's going to make it mandatory. Yep. He's not going to hold you down because people ask questions like that, I guess, through fear and ignorance. You know, because that, that's not a bad a bad question when you're now coming into this truth. Because you're scared for your life. Right. What right. if the so-called white man hold you down and stick you? I thought about that when I first came in. Right. But, you know, if you're part of the elect, that's not going to happen to you. Yeah. It's not going to happen to you. You know, Esau, if you're part of the Lord's elect, Esau cannot hold you down, strap you down, knock you out, and stick the chip in you. If it happens, then you know, unfortunately, you ain't make the cut. That's right. Which is fucked up, but you know what? Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. That's why we fear the Lord. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, bro. Right, Revelation 3 and 10, right. to your point. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee. From the hour of temptation. Right. So the Lord said, because you have kept the word of my patience. Patience means to suffer. Um, Romans, the fifth chapter, tells you about how experience, hope, hope. Um, I'm sorry. Tribulation bring experience, experience, hope, and hope. You know, uh, bring forth. I forget. I, I slipped my mind. But there's a whole list in the process of growing in this, in this faith. But it starts with troubles. It starts with tribulation. And it ends with your faith being increased. Yeah. The whole process it starts with trouble, tribulation, and the final result of going through the troubles and tribulations is going to be your, your, your um, faith growing as a grain of mustard seed, which starts out very small to where you're thinking about, oh, what if Esau hold me down and chip me? To the point where you say, man, fuck Esau. You know, you ain't going to do shit if the Most High don't want you to do it. That's faith as, as, as a, um, growing, going from a grain of mustard seed to a whole, a whole you know, uh, um, What's the word? A whole tree. Yeah, a whole tree. Mustard tree. Just flourishing. You know? Which starts out small and it's eventually the largest amongst the the valley, you know, the yard or the garden or whatever. Yeah, that was where was reading. Yeah, that was done, That was eleven eleven, so that's done. What you got, Rowan? Finish, finish it up, yo. Yep. Back in second Peter three and seven again. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same Salakia. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, right. reserved unto fire right here. against the day of judgment. This right here. The perdition of ungodly men. Everything right now, the rulership. See, the Lord is building, he, he's building up a track record for Esau, Edom. He's building up a track record for the nations. He's saving the best for last. He's saving the best for last. Think about it. He's going to devour the Edomites last. You know what I'm saying? The best for last. The Lord is waiting to show his glory and his majesty during the rulership of the worst scumbag on the planet Earth. Yeah. That means he's getting ready to tear shit up. That's like you training. That's like you knocking out all these whack-ass opponents just, just, to, just to sharpen your skills up. And then you start getting to the better guys and the better guys and the better guys. So you start getting better. And then here you are at the, at, the, at the grand finale. But you know what? Esau don't stand a chance against the Most High. Through Yahweh Shah, through the angels, and not even through the Lord's elect. 
When the men of the Lord get that power, you Edomites don't stand a chance. But point is, the Lord is saving you for last. And this is going to be your demise. This is going to be your destruction. All right? These warheads, you're, you're, the same thing that you glorify about your nuclear arms, yeah. you know, your nuclear power, uh -huh. thinking that you achieved it by yourself, most of is going to have it backfire. Man. And that's the reward of the wicked that Abaratazah, we of the hopeful elect, are going to see in the near future from an aerial view. From an aerial perspective, looking down, map, I get that, Revelation 15. Yeah, that. It says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Right. Verse 9, the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, is not slack concerning his promise. Right. As some men count slackness, but it's long suffering to us word. Right, to us. Because to us it seemed like it's long suffering. That's why the previous verse says one 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 thousand years to man is a day to the most high. Right? So really, two days ain't long suffering. If you gotta wait two days for something, that's not long. But on our to us word, us word waiting a thousand years, bro, how many different generations is that? You you may have came back ten times. You know what I'm saying? About 10 times right. or something. Right. 8 to 10 times maybe. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey bro, the Lord, the Lord is long suffering toward us word. Lord will we elect, yeah? It says, but it's long suffering to us word. And you know what that also shows? Mercy. You know? Uh, the Lord ain't come back yet. The Lord ain't come back yet, which we still hear on a Saturday. All right, in Babylon. Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't come back yet. That's another grace period for you. That's another day to prove yourself worthy to be saved. What you gonna do with your day? What you gonna do with your day? Every day that go by, what are you doing with your day? Are you proving yourself worthy to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to be delivered? What are you doing with your day? You know, even if you ain't doing nothing, you ain't doing nothing. In other words, you ain't doing nothing wicked to go off. If you ain't doing nothing, period, then you're not doing nothing. Do something. Because doing nothing ain't good enough. Right. You're being idle. You know, I, I idle mind is, devil, is, is devil's time, they say. You know, that idle shit ain't going to cut it. You know, Jake, Jake just like to chill all the damn time. Homebody, do, ain't doing shit. I ain't doing nothing. Do something, man. Do something constructive. My pops used to tell me that all the time. But yeah. my father did not listen. You better not ever say you was bored yeah. around that man. You say go read a book, yeah, read a book or do book. something. So. Bored. My my youngest tell me, ah, but I'm bored. I'm like, yo, go read a book. Yeah. Go do something, little girl. <laughs> or do something. Go 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 learn how to cook or something. Yeah, yeah doc. Yeah, I I don't want that point you made, elder bro, to because that hint, man. And whoever's listening, even to us up here. We're hastening the day to, to, for the Lord to come back, man, to take us from this hell. That's right. But another a beautiful way to look at being here another day for us is to, to what the elder bro said, all right? We have another day to prove ourselves to the Lord, okay? We have another day to ask for mercy, okay? To maybe repent for sin that, that happened the day before. That's how we should look at our days moving forward. That's a heavy, heavy point. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. That the elder made, man, moving forward. And I'm going to apply that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just, just want to add that, bro. So this is a uh, verse. I'm sorry, bro. Before you read that yeah. on, yeah. There's, there was a series called um, Utopia. I don't know if y'all seen it. Yeah, Utopia. Yeah, it. You remember the Bill Gates character, the Edomite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What well, he used to say all the time to his family, like when he would get go around the table and shit like that, and he used to say That's something. He used to, say. he used to say, "What did you do to earn your spot in this world today?" This world today. Something like that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So you could apply that yeah. principle. And it's true. What did you do today to earn your spot on the chariot? You know what I'm saying? Of course, if you, if you ain't party, ain't nothing you can do. Right. But yeah, it's something you can do. Give diligence to make your call and the election sure. So there is something you can do. Right. What did you do today for the Lord to even say, you know, this man, this person is worth it? You want the Lord to look down on you and be like, oh, he's a degenerate, he's going backwards? Or, oh, this nigga ain't do shit today? You know what I'm saying? It's like you go home, the house ain't. You have imagine you go home, reaching the house the same way you left it. 
and you got a wife and kid. You got you got a woman. You let you you come back the same fucking way you left it, and you you purposely leave and look at certain shit just to make sure. All right, if I come back and this shit is like this, we got a problem. You know what I mean? You do like you kind of like. All right, this is there. That's there. It's not supposed to be there. If I come back and this shit is like, and you know, as a man, we gonna say something. Don't be quiet on it. If that's happening. Say some shit, man. Say some shit. Don't be scared. Some some jakes be scared to open their mouth. Trying to keep the peace. Fuck the peace, man. It ain't peace unless it's peaceful to you. All right? Because it can be peaceful to her because you ain't saying nothing. But in your mind, you all fucked up. Your peace is true peace, bro. All right? Point blank period. But yeah, brother. Uh, this is uh, back in Second Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Mm -hmm. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come <laughs> to repentance. Now, like like um, the scripture we quoted earlier in Isaiah the sixth chapter, about least they get it real quick, Barbara, get that real quick. You quote it. Because the point is repentance. That's the point. So the Lord requires all Israelites that are going to make it to repent, right? Now, of course, your children, the, the babies and the young ones and stuff like that, they're they making it off your strength yeah. because, you know, they're, they're, they're below the age of accountability. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much your household is making it off your strength. But when they're, when they're of age, there's certain things they can do and must do in order to, to, be, to, be, to be saved. Because you can't have a child that's... I'm going I'm to give you an example. You have a child that's under the age of accountability, but they a damn fairy. You got a, 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 a boy, a male child, he's a fucking fairy. He's just off. He got that fairy spirit on him. You know what I'm talking about, fairy spirit. The Crayola box yep. fell, fell on his head when he was sleeping. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> so now this motherfucker, is he going to make it? He may not make it. He, he not make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't going to fucking make it. So it is exceptions to the rule too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pray that you know your, your house is covered, man. That's right. That's the most uh -huh. you can do is pray that they're covered. You know? But the point is that Israelites gotta come to repentance. So uh, read that in um, Isaiah the sixth chapter. Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter six, verse nine. And he said, Go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. Right. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. The head is. But they don't understand it. We, even though we're telling them they hear it, but they don't understand it. They see it, but they don't perceive it. Why? Because their mind is blocked. Like what we're saying doesn't make sense. It's like trying, it's like trying to understand grade, grade A algebra or some shit. Yeah. Trigonometry, one of those top yeah. levels of mathematics or something like that. It's like trying to understand, it's one plus one versus that. They, even one plus one, they don't understand. Yeah. So really, Jake, Jake just, Jake is just shut down in their mind. There's a mental blockage yep. that the Lord have on Jake. Yep. That's why even if you simplify it, break down the math for them, which math means truth, all right, from the Hebrew word amath. So even when you break it down for them, they're just not going to get it if they weren't meant to get it. So finish that up. It says, 10th verse, make the heart of this people fat. Make their minds fat, yeah. And make their ears heavy. You know when 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 you let's say you got a um, fat, they call it visceral fat, I believe it is that 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 covers your your organs. Now you may not have fat on your on your your outer layer, of, which is right above your muscle surface, right beneath your skin. That's one fat. But then you could lose that and still have fat surrounding your organs, fat surrounding your heart, you know, your liver, and just certain things. And that's a that's like plaque. Yeah. That's like this is like how a person got a plaque on their teeth. That's like plaque in the body. You know what I'm saying? So now what happens is that the organs ain't gonna function properly because it's fat. It's, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna, blood ain't gonna be passing through your arteries because it's clogged up with fat. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be passing through. It's gonna be clogged, and that clogged artery eventually leads to what? Yeah. Death. Yeah. Certain things happen in between hypertension and stuff like that, and it leads ultimately to death. You know, so make the hearts of these people make their minds fat, so their minds cannot receive the information because it's clogged with all that fat. Yeah. yeah. It says, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, 
lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart uh -huh. and convert and be healed. And convert and be healed. So the Lord said, make it fat. Make it fat, man. I, I, I know, at least, least they convert and be healed. In other words, just make it fat because I don't want them to convert and be healed. Yeah. So block them from understanding this because I don't want them to get it. That's why we can, you, you can't get mad at the two-thirds. No. You really can't get mad at the two-thirds. Right. When the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. You can't get mad at the blind leaders of the blind and the followers of the blind. You really can't get mad. How you getting mad when the Most High set that up? Right. I mean, yes, as, as men and in the flesh and our passion for teaching, of course we do get mad. But when you really understand it, what's the point in getting mad? If you got the full understanding, that's why over time you eventually suave it. You know what I'm saying? You relax, you chill, you calm down, you become more like a... A chill lion, so to speak. A young lion cub, fangs out. You know, that's in the beginning stages. Ready to tear everything up. Even though, you know, you're not even hungry, you're still tearing up, devouring, and you're just leaving it for dead. Like a young lion. But the old lion, he killed, he kills prey to eat. You know, he ain't playing with his food. You see? So the Lord don't want every Israelite to get it, which is the exact opposite of um, that verse you was reading in 2 Peter. You can read that again. Back in 2 Peter 3, and I'll, I'll read verse 9 again. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering uh -huh. to us word, yep. not willing that any should perish. Not willing that any should perish. That's why the Lord is long suffering. He's given us, he's given us a chance. He's given us a grace period. He's given us time to repent. He's given us time to get it right. He's given you time to get it right. All right? He's giving you time to correct your ways and your fuck-ups. We all fuck up, but correct it. Right? You think the Lord is... The Lord is... See, the Lord... The Lord Don't don't take the Lord's grace period right. for weakness. Right. Like, like he's always going to just forgive you. Right. This, it's a grace period for... It's called grace period for reasons. It's a period to get right. If you're not getting right within this period, what are you doing? You're always fucking up and fucking up and fucking up doing the same old bullshit. Now, I can understand if you fuck up. The Lord understands if you fuck up. On one thing and then you repent on that and you mess up on something totally different. But if you keep on doing the same shit over and over again, is it an accident? Is it, is it a mistake? Or is it just your pattern? Is, are you just built to just fucking go off and just be a, a, a degenerate? We not supposed to be degenerates in this truth. What's the, what's the definition of a degenerate? Somebody that's going backwards or decaying. In this truth, we're supposed to grow. We're supposed to regenerate. Right? Regenerate. Not degenerate, go backwards and decay and then you worse than the old person. But you're supposed to be better than the new person. Regenerate. Every day you're regenerating yourself. Regenerating your spirit. Growing. You know what I'm saying? That's repentance. The Day of Atonement just left. And it was a beautiful one. Yeah, right. You know, it was a beautiful one. That was your time and opportunity to pray to Yahweh Bashimi Shah to forgive you for all your sins. Right. And mean it. Don't just be like, Lord, forgive my sins, and then you just going about your day and your business. But really mean it. And think of, and think of, and reflect upon your sins and be like, nah, I can't be doing this shit. I ain't doing that again. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to feel bad about it and not do it again. Yeah. It says, but that all should come to repentance. Verse 10. But that all should come to repentance, which is the elect. Okay. Verse 10, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Now, a thief in the night, a thief don't declare his, uh, his coming. That's why the Most High told, did not tell Yahweh Shah when he was going, when he was going to send him back to destroy Babylon and to redeem the elect and to enslave the planet Earth of heathens. He didn't tell him that. He didn't give him that um, information. He didn't, he didn't di disclose that. Right? That's why Yahweh Shah is gonna come in a thief as a thief in the night. You know? It's gonna be like, it's gonna be all it's gonna be all of a sudden. It's gonna be like be on the throne. Right? I'm just putting it in man's point of view, so to speak, right? Sitting on the throne, everything is happening in the world, Babylon, the prophecies and everything. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Yup, go ahead. You just gonna get you gonna get that phone call. You know when you got that job, they're like, yo, just be on standby. Yeah, you may never get the call. They just say, yo, be on standby. You don't know when you're gonna get the call. Right. 
Yahweh is on standby right now, waiting for the Most High to say, go ahead. And when he does, it's going to be like, go ahead. Yep, yeah. go ahead. And that's why we got to be on standby. Yeah. You know? So the Lord is like telling us, yeah, be ready. Be ready. You don't know. You don't know when I'm coming, so be ready. Don't have your, you know, putting in, 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 in these terminologies and using these worldly examples. Don't have your phone on snooze. Don't have it on silent. Don't have it on don't disturb. Because when the most high call, when you have a shot call, you better answer. Don't even let it, the minute you see the, butt, the the vibration go off and then the name pop up, answer that call. Answer that call. Don't let it ring one, two, or three times. You know? This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, mm, verse 6. I know where you're going at. Beautiful. Get it. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. There you go. But let us watch and be sober. So don't sleep as do others. Don't snooze. You snooze, you lose. That's a real saying, bro. Yeah. That is a real saying. Right. You snooze, you lose. Right. You snooze, you lose. You know? I mean, I'm telling you, man, the human psyche really reflects a person's behavior. Like yep. the person that always snooze, they, they, if they always snoozing in bed, they got like 10 snoozes, chances are they snooze on a lot of shit in life. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's a case by case situation. Right. You, could be a, you could be snoozing and really be a, a vigilant, vigilant person. But that person that don't fuck with the snooze button, he get up and get busy, he gets a lot, a lot of things done. You know what I'm saying? In most cases. Yeah. I ain't saying every case, but in most cases. And then you do got the person that do snooze a few times just to get the extra rest or rest or whatever. See the hand over there. But the same goal, you snooze, you lose. You can't redeem lost time. Nope. You know? Every minute that's gone is gone. You know, one thing that Jake got to get more in tune with is time management, bro. Yep. Like, manage your time properly. Jake think they got all the time in the world. You don't. Right. You don't have all the time in the world. Manage your time properly. Organize your time. Do things more better. You know? Yeah. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. They that sleep, sleep in the night. You know, they sleep in, they sleep in this darkness, this dark world. This, this, this world is considered night. Nighttime is synonymous with darkness. Right. We're children of light. We're children of the day. Yep. Right? Not the children of uh, night and darkness. Yeah. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Be sober meaning do not be drunk like these other people in the world who believe in the world. All right? They believe in the world. That's what, that's what, that's what considers them to be drunk. They believe in different religions, different gods, different philosophies. They believe in Esau. They're drunk. Now, we sobered up once we learned that we are the children of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. We learned we're Israelites. We learned the names, the true names, and believe in those names. And we trust in the prophecies being taught the way it should be taught right. by the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. You're sober. All right? You are sober. You're not drunk. So go ahead. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love mm -hmm. and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. That's it. Faith, love, salvation was love, keeping the commandments to the Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Shah. And we know we always say to the best of your ability. You know, which is the exact reason why we under the grace period. You know, this is a rehearsal, this is practice, this is us trying to get right before Yahweh Shah come back. Scriptures tell us that faith without works is what? It's dead. It don't mean nothing. Go ahead. That was it, right? Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Watch you make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Right, which that means change your ways. You know, wash you, make you clean. That's um Psalms 119 also. How can a young man cleanse his ways? No, no I'm sorry, that's not. That, I think you're reading that right now, right? Isaiah 103. What are you right? Can, can a young black change Say that again. How can a young black rebel wash and change his ways? Well, one, 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 one. Get the scripture. But one, we're not black. You're not black. All right, black is a is a negative term that was put on our people, just like how white was put on the red people, which according to the Bible they're known as Edomites. White and red is a psychological attack. I'm just I'm just proving a point. It's a psychological warfare. You're not black. All right, if you want to be technical, you're dark brown. So you gotta wash that away first. Wash away the concept of being black. All right, nobody likes black. Nobody likes the dark. You know what I'm saying? But the so-called white man told us that we were black. And he was white, but he's red, and we're melanated. We, we're in tune with nature and the sun while the earth is against us. So that's one. So to answer this question, get the precept. Psalms chapter 119. How could, a, how could a young Israelite 
What's your nationality or where you from or your parents? My parents from Nigeria. All right, our people were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Matter of fact, you are Israelite. I could tell by your spirit, right? Now our people during the transatlantic slave trade after the time, during the time of 70 AD, we were exiled out of our homeland and we were scattered abroad. A lot of our people went down into the western parts of Africa, such as Nigeria. So your family, more than likely, not more than likely, but guaranteed, go back to the Israelites. Right. So you could be of any of the tribes right here, possibly Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. And matter of fact, we so scattered that you could, you could be any, any one of the tribes. Right. Right. But according to, to keep it simple, you could be Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. You know what I'm saying? You're not black, you're not a Negro, you're not a West Indian, you're not Haitian. Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. So that's your nationality according to the scripture. So go ahead, all right? Psalms chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man so cleanse his way? Right. By taking so heed. So hold on. How could a young man cleanse his way? Go ahead. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So how do you cleanse your ways? By taking heed to the word of the Lord. Do you believe in the Most High? Yeah, 100%. 100%. All right. The Lord, according to the scriptures, is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. Matter of fact, the Lord looked close to your complexion, bro. According to the scriptures, somebody just get that real quick. I'm sure you heard it already. Just get it. You know what I'm saying? By taking heed to the word of the Lord. You, you got a very dark, you know, and, and see the so-called white men would say we have, they, they hate us. We have beautiful complexion, beautiful skin tone, bro. And the Lord had a very dark complexion, you know? So you got to understand who the God of the Bible is and who he came to save. Do you believe that God came to save everybody? I think so, yeah. You would think so, right? Yeah. Because you were taught that. Get um, 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 Psalms 147 real quick. I got like a business card because I can't really stay for too, too much longer. Nah, we got a YouTube. This is this is on live. This is live right now on YouTube. You got a phone? You got a small phone? Yeah, I don't got no social media or nothing like that. Nah, this is YouTube. That's not even um social media. I, I, I definitely got a YouTube. So just type in, type in um GMS, Great Millstone. Type in GMS. GMS, yup. Israelites. Matter of fact, this this video right here is on. Um, it, it should pop up. Let me see. Come a little closer if you don't mind, bro. That's the same. Put it in the corner. Yeah. That like the same like Israelite thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can I bring this out in the Yeah, read it, read it, bro. This is uh, Psalms chapter one nineteen, verse one thirty. The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. So the entrance of these words giveth light in a dark place, which is this world. Right, the right here, says, bro. Arise, right here. shine, for thy light is come. What is that light? Who is that light? That light That's is our Lord Yahweh. That's, That's it, bro. Okay. All right, you ain't. Excuse me, brother. Don't follow them other guys. So I'll read that again. It says, The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. Break it down. So again, these words are likened unto light. And we understand that beyond that, Yahweh Shai is that light. In fact, Yahweh Shai is the word of the heavenly father, Yahweh, according to the book of St. John, the first chapter. And that light is come spiritually to shine upon the hearts of the elect of the nation of Israel. To give them light in a land that's full of darkness, in a world that's covered in gross darkness, and gross darkness the people. All right, it says, it giveth understanding unto the simple. And the beginning of understanding is the fear of Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, scripture says in the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse four, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. All right. And the knowledge of the holy right. is understanding. So the entrance of the words of the Lord giveth light unto those of the elect of the nation of Israel. It giveth understanding unto the simple. And it is written that how long ye simple ones we love simplicity. And fools hate knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you had a piece of it. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei was shy. The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you built unto me? Right, so if the heaven is the Lord's throne, 
and the earth is his footstool, then but where is this house that you're going to build unto the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai? Because the house of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, which is the temple of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, is the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, that's right. And the Lord commanded us to measure not the court outside of the temple because it is given unto the Gentiles. And the measuring stick, the reed, that rod, is a scripture. And it's being used to measure the house of the nation of Israel. And it's going to gather the house of faith, the Israel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh God, elect. So the heavens of the, is, 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 the, is the heavenly part of Yahweh's throne, and the earth is his footstool. And that's why the scripture says what? The clouds are, are the dust of his feet. Because obviously, you're, you're, if you're sitting on, on a throne, and you have your, your feet on your footstool, your feet on a footstool, obviously you're going to have dust here and there. Everything below you. That's the clouds of his feet. Go ahead. It says, and where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been saith the Lord. See, the Lord is the ultimate poet. He's the ultimate painter. These words, when you put them together, precept upon precept, line upon line, right. here little and there little, it's like a great painting. It's like a movie. That's why the apostles always say to visualize the things that we read, visualize the scriptures. You yep. got again, bro? Oh, yeah. It says, for all those, this is Isaiah 66 and 2, uh -huh. for all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things. Right, all those things hath the heavenly for the Yahweh, through the son Yahweh Shai, is hand made, including the earth, the heavens, and the things beneath, and within the earth. So, how can you build him a house as a result when he made these things go ahead it says but to this man will i look even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit but to this man will i look even which is old english for which is but to this man will i look which is a what go ahead even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit which is him that is of a poor and a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word and trembleth at my word so the lord only looks at a man an israelite man that is in a broken and a contrite heart and that fears him Bible says better is a little fear of the lord than no fear the rough paraphrase of scripture that's in the book of Sirach. Because you have a lot of Israel, Israelites out there that they have no fear. They, they don't believe. They don't believe. Got, How was it? Yeah, I got another scripture. This right. is um, Romans 11 and 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right. Why hasn't Israel obtained that which he seeketh for? Isaiah the sixth chapter. Two thirds of the nation of Israel have not obtained that which they seek it for, which is this truth. See, this truth is likened unto a treasure hidden in the field. And only the elect of the nation of Israel has obtained that treasure. Whereas two thirds of the nation of Israel, they continue to grope in noonday. Why? Why are you groping when the sun is at its peak? When there's light everywhere? Why are you, why are you, what are you looking for? What are you searching for? What are you groping for? They're groping for the truth. But guess what? They still can't find it. They can't because the Lord blinded their eyes, man. Yeah. Spiritual. Yeah. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, right. but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. See? Right. See? Right. But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. That's why they're still groping in the noon day. Metaphorically, they were still, they were still searching for the truth, but they can never obtain it. Ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. And this is why this truth is so precious to us, because we can see and we don't take that for granted, man. Yep. You know that it's a blessing from your how about see me out of shadow. We're able to understand and eat the whole roll and yep. digest it. Yep. You see. So in a way, we're happy that people 
people can't see, man. Because that gives us more hope that we're of the hopeful elect. Right, right. Okay, when these people are following these other wayward Israelite groups, I think Yahweh Bashimi Awashad and leading me to the apostles. That's right. Because I, I, I went to IUIC, I went to HOI. That's right. All right, but the Lord said, nope, nope, nope. Right. And then when I see the apostles at GMS, he said, they're the ones. So the Lord, see, there's levels, man. That's right. All right? So we got to say, the Wadi Habashimi, I'm shy. Because right. I owe you everything from leading me to the men of the Lord. That's right. And that gives you even faith that hold up. I might be a man of the Lord. You see? Because we could have been with ICU, UPK. We could have been with HOY, we could have been with IUIC. That's right. All right? Sakari, lost in the sauce, man. That's right, bro. Because now we leaving all these camps camps in the dust. Because this is a race. They all we all leaving them in the dust now. Why? Because the Lord is taking their oil from them, man. They're gonna have to go to the marketplace soon. You know, you know they're gonna have to go to the marketplace when that chip come out. Right. Because they're gonna be looking for your Howard Shy. But the Howard Shai is only going to be in the elect. The Howard Shai spirit is only going to be dealing with the elect. Because when that time comes, man, when that RFID tip is made mandatory, all every, not, not only these kids are the truth, everybody's going to be scrambling, bro. Because you're not going to, your, 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 your strength ain't going to be able to do it. You let, let these people go two days without, without no food or water. Watch what happens. Let these people go two days without food and water. And watch what happens. They can be found in damn women, man. A lot of you men are, are feminine. A lot of you men are females, man. And what does it say in the scripture, right? With the last in the last book of Revelation, no effeminate is going to enter the kingdom, man. A lot of you men are feminine. Follow your woman, so you're going to take that chip. Right. See, the Lord is weeding out, okay, the um, the undesirables. We call two thirds the undesirables, man. The Lord's not dealing with you. Okay, all you people that want to hold hands hands with these other other Israelite groups or these other unconscious um, so-called black groups, the Lord's not dealing with you. The Lord's only dealing with prophecy, man. That's right. That's why a lot of Jake, all right, are, about to, are really getting judged right now. A lot of judgments happen, man. And the, and, and the Lord is saving because even the Lord judge you now, you, you do the spirit world, that's still mercy because you wouldn't have to feel that fire, man. A lot of people, the Lord's going to save for, um, save the best for last. A lot of you niggas get ready to take that chip. And they get ready to, this thing is getting ready to go down, man. That's right. We're going to keep on singing the same song about the MOTV. Why? Because that's the, that's the biggest prophecy in the Bible. Besides your Howard Shaw coming back in the missiles, man. That MOTV is about to be hot. You got this devil about to, about to come down with great wrath. We're going to be laughing at a lot of people, man. I'm not, I, I don't care about a lot of people. I only care about my brothers. The, the ones, the, the ones that's in this truth. Right. All right, we been. I sure I even care about my brothers more than my family, man. Because at the end of the day, they ain't gonna make it. All right, the only the only ones gonna make it the one that believe in the truth. Because when you look at it, if somebody scoffing to the truth for so long, and you start to realize, well, hold up, well, you know what I mean? The Lord blinded for this long, they probably not gonna get it. So the Lord is making this harder, man. Remember, we remember everything's gonna be made new. I pray that I make it. That's what I pray for, man. And I pray for my, my brothers that's in this in this truth. Make it, man. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Yeah, because the Lord ain't gonna hear you in the time of Jacob's trouble. The Lord wants you when shit is not going down, man. The Lord, the Lord, see, the, the name Jacob means to plant. You're not going to supplant the Lord during Jacob's trouble and act like you want to want to be want to love the Lord and want to be obedient and want to want to uh, and want to just be gun ho for the Lord in the time of Jacob's trouble because the Lord knows you're just trying to do that to save your ass, man. The Lord wants the ones that's coming to Him now while the, while you can still eat and drink and buy while while the um as a matter of fact the Scripture says it. All right. While 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 the time is young, man. While the day is still light. While the darkness is not here yet. Seek you the Lord now while the time is up, while the day, I forgot how it goes. Let me paraphrase it. Good, bro. It says, call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, I think this, that's the script. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thinking, yeah call yeah. ye upon him while he is near, man. And, and that's what I'm talking about. The Lord is near now. That's right. Because why? How do you? How do we know the Lord is near? You got the prophets out on the highways and byways. 
I, I always say this. Do you actually think that we're doing this on our own will? We're all programmed. All right? We could have been doing anything else on a Saturday. The Lord programs us to come on the highways and byways. We're not of our own. Every human being, all right, is programmed. There's no such thing as free will. That's another lie from the Christian, Christian dogma, man. Everybody's programmed. From from the from the kings of the earth all the way down to the minute minutest ants to animals. Everything is everything is controlled by the Lord. Then the Lord said, "Not a sparrow falls without him, without him knowing." So we're all programmed. We go to sleep. The Lord and the Lord actually tells us. He makes us privy. He said, "When you go to sleep, I send an angel to put instructions in your That's mind." Right. How is that so hard to understand? Go ahead, bro. It says, let the wicked forsake his way. And who's wicked? Before we come to the truth, we're wicked, man. Right. All right? We're wicked before we come to the truth. This is why this word washes us. Yahweh Shai. This is why we go so hard for Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, man. Because the Lord didn't have to do it. The Lord didn't have to choose. The Lord didn't have to give us this opportunity to be one of his sons, man. Even though we are his sons, but to be the first fruits. That's why we go so hard. That's why we're so passionate. And really, we're passionate because the Lord is passionate for us. Because the Lord says, the Lord says that um, um, you love me because I first love you. This love, this passion we have, is because the Lord got passion for us, man. A lot of people, a lot of people are not ready to actually sacrifice their life for the Lord. A lot of people talk that good old game, yeah, 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 because they think it's just a um, it's just some kind of vice to get more wives or to, you know, to get more fame or to get more money because a lot of people doing this for money. Please believe it. Yeah. But above all the other, above fame, all right, above women, all these sellouts are doing it for money, man, because money's going to get you everything else. All right? Money's going to, money's able to, to, um, to appease their flesh. All right? So these dudes are under a 501 CD charter, not talking about the MOTB, not talking about the true doctrine of the Lord, not talking, if you if you notice, they're not talking about this damn devil no more. How come they ain't talking about Esau, Edom, that, that they're the devil and that they're gonna be enslaving, and that the Lord's gonna destroy them? Why they're not speaking so harsh no more? Don't hold your tongue, because they sold out. That's why, man. Yeah, bro. Instead, they wanna debate with one another. They wanna debate. That's the spirit that's on them. Yeah, that's the smoke and mirrors, man, that's because they all been paid off. You wanna, you wanna, you you wanna put curses on debate of the Israelites right. about folly. All right, there's certain debates that need to be done, like this new covenant that was, that, that that needed to be. And, and you know what? It shows you the levels that people's on, man. It shows that we're really in a higher level than most of these dudes that've been that they've been taught under the apostles from from the old from the old school. Because if you don't understand, um, 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 you know, I'm, I'm digressing real quick. If you don't understand that we're in the process of the new covenant, and how did that process start when Yahweh died on that cross? Right. That's how we're in the process of the new covenant. If you can't understand that, it's because the Lord blinded you. The Lord's not dealing with you. It's not about. And I was telling somebody this. It's just like this. You can have you, you, you can have all the breakdowns, but if you have one of it, not, if one of it's not on point. Then you got all of it wrong. I'm gonna give you a case of point. If I give you a, a full glass of water and I tell you like, yo, I'm gonna put one percent poison in it. Is it now still water? It's tainted. That's right, bro. So the spirit ain't fully dealing with you. Either the spirit is dealing with you or it's not dealing with you. Right. If you don't undersee, and you know why, and this is happening because they don't worship Yahweh Shai. Ah, right. That's why you don't understand Yahweh Shai. You don't understand why he came. You don't understand what was done. This is why he was arguing with his own people all the time. When he said he was the son of God, hold up. Aren't you not reading the Old Testament? Oh, wait, first, don't you not know who you are? That we're the sons of the living power? So how do you not know that he's the son of God? Why you were offended? Because they didn't understand. That's the problem. That's why they crucified our Lord. Because they didn't understand. Go ahead, and, bro. And they keep calling him Christ. They and keep they, saying exactly, that. Watch exactly, them, exactly, exactly. They keep saying Christ, exactly. Christ, Christ. Like the brother keeps saying, they, they don't worship Yahweh Shai, right? They don't worship his name, right? And understand the power that's within his name. 
So the spirit's not working with them, right? Yeah, because all power is given to your Yahweh Shai. That's so it. all you people that want to disrespect and say, well, I don't worship Yahweh Shai. He's just another man. He's another son of God. I worship Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is not dealing. Don't you understand? <laughs> yo, man. The Lord, the Lord said, yo, go get your brothers. Go get the ones that you that I've given you. The ones that the Lord, that Yahweh, Abba Allah, Yahweh, Yahweh, has given us, right, is the ones that worship Yahweh Shai, man. They, they understood don't you understand some disciples was fighting to be around you, Shai? Who, that's why I said, who, which one of us is the greatest one? Yahweh Shai was a special spirit. Go be, go read Hebrews, the first and second chapter. That's why the Lord said, which one of you angels had, did I say sit down on that right hand till I make that enemies a footstool? They don't understand Yahweh Shai, so therefore you're not going to receive Yahweh Shai. They don't understand that we're going to marry Yahweh Shai. Talking about you're not gonna worship. Isn't your woman supposed to worship you and call us Lord? How the fuck you're not gonna worship Yahweh Shai right. and wear his wives? That's right. Don't uh. you understand Yahweh's giving us his son to marry him? And by default, now we're one. John 17. So I don't give a damn about these niggas, man. I'm glad the Lord opened up our minds and we was able to eat the whole world. We were able to see who Yahweh Shai actually is, man. And everybody who says that we're gonna see who's of the gold, of the silver, of that hay, of that stubble, when that MOTB comes out. When's that when's that MOTB gonna come out? And Jacob's trouble starts popping off, man. You got niggas talking shit about the atonement. Listen, man, I mean, you gotta think of it like this. Yes, it's not mandatory, but we do everything through faith, man. Right. We do everything, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. That's it. All right? We're showing effort to say, Lord, I want to, I want, listen. When I, when, when I was going to do the day, day of atonement, you know what kept on coming to my mind? It's good to suffer, man. I, I'm glad I'm suffering, man. Because wow. your house I suffered. I was like, yo, your house I went 40 days to 40 nights without no food, no water. All right? We, and, and people want to complain about not eating for uh, 24 hours? Yeah. It's good to suffer, man. That's right, bro. All right? Cause we ain't suffering for no reason, man. We suffering for your hour while you was shy, man. You gotta have passion, man. Right, he's worthy, bro. Nah, he's worthy. Good, bro. And the day of atonement was, was, was so heavy beyond the physical aspect of, of the fast itself. So, right. Yeah. It represents the Hawa Shai's sacrifice for us. In that he was our atonement. Because the entire nation sinned greatly against Yahweh the Father. Yeah. And according to the law, every once in a year, the high priest was supposed to sacrifice for the sins of the nation. But Yahweh Shai did that once. Exactly. And think about all the things that he that he that he took on, man. And yes. Yahweh Shai was like it. And Yahweh Shai had to um was dying for his sins. Yeah. So people don't people don't really understand, man, what what that what that blood really means, good brother. Yeah. And that's what Yahweh Shai did. Because that's what the high priest, high priest had to do according to the law. He had to sacrifice for his sins and then for the sins of the nation of Israel. That's a heavy load. And when did Yahweh Shah sin? That's what, that's what you got to yeah, ask yourself. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. You know? That's that's why why did he have to fit the bill if he didn't sin? Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. That's reincarnation right there. Right. Reincarnation. Right. Right. That's another stumbling block amongst people, man. Right. right. Excuse right. me, who he was before? King Solomon. King Solomon, King Solomon right? Yeah. Yeah. He was also Isaac, Isaac. Isaac. but he, you know, he the, the, the transgression was Happy. through Solomon. Yeah. That's why the, that's why King David said that if he transgressed, he would be beaten yeah, with the stripes of men. Yeah. He was never King David, though. No. No, no. no. That's why King David said, the Lord said unto my Lord, he's talking about his son. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. See, that was a mystery. And the Lord, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, threw that mystery into the, into the uh, Sadducees and Pharisees. And it was like, oh my gosh, are you trying to say, because he said before Abraham was, I was. See, that went, that, that, see, and the same thing is happening right now. The, 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 if the spirit's not dealing with you, and that, that's why I say, I'm glad, certain, on a certain level, I'm not going to lie, I'm glad about the debates because dudes that I thought that was like on a high level, in my personal, I was like, dad, yo, they, they really babies, they really still drinking the milk. Yeah. They, yeah. they don't really have the full, like, you could be a good a good debater right. and still don't have the spirit of your house shy, bro. That's right, that's right. Because if you don't understand the simplest things, how the hell are we gonna be under the old law, bro? Yeah. yeah. 
how to how, do you understand if we're under the old law that we still have to sacrifice goats and do this yeah how is shot said this the sacrificial law was done away with yes we have to follow the laws we're still under it but we're not being brutally destroyed by it bro people's getting judged by the law so we're still going by the old law but now that we have grace why do we have grace because your shot died for so now we're in between we're in the process of that new why because the old test is not being played out all you dumb niggas because guess what all you if, if we're under the old testament then we should be putting people to death like crazy bro so stop so so stop your shenanigans man of course we're not under the new um, under the old law we're in the process we're when we start we're in the process of the new covenant we're in the process of the new law because if we're under the old law we'd have to be persecuted by the law it's simple bro they're having a two three hour debate you're having a two three hour debate over something that's very simple go ahead bro and they're both wrong like this is why the lord stressed the importance of keeping the law of faith through the apostle paul because men boast keeping the law of works but what about keeping the law of faith and anything that is done without faith is sin yeah. And it is impossible to please the heaven before the Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai without faith. And the just, as it is written, shall live by faith. So if the just are going to live by faith, then obviously they're, they're, gonna, they're going to, by default, through their faith, rehearse the righteous acts to prove their faith because faith without works is dead. So how the hell can we be justified by the works of the Lord? Because we'd we, we be dead. It don't make no sense. Uh, yeah. So, um, and and if you break one law, you're, you're guilty of all. All of it. We break the law. We break this, the law every single day by red right. mixed fabric. That alone right. makes us guilty of breaking all the laws. Right. And you, so, it's so, like so, it. so, so nobody cannot really keep the law. All the laws. I'm gonna tell you how. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, how is that? Took the law to another level. He said, if you even think upon another man's woman, you've sinned, bro. Whoa. Think about that for a second. Yeah. Damn. Think yeah. about that for. This is, you see, the law is nothing to play with. People like, we found the law. You're not following the law. Wow. Nobody's able to do it except your house shine. When you go to the Hebrews, you know what made men perfect? Their faith. Yeah. Nobody's keeping the law. Yeah. That's why they're going to get, that's why they're going to die horrible deaths. You know why? Because they're going to get judged by the law. Nobody's keeping it 100%. Nobody's keeping it 100%. And if you're not keeping it 100%, that means you're not keeping the law. Right. If, you've, if, you, if, if you've messed up one, your house, I said, you done messed up all, bro. Right. So what do we do now? You need a savior. You need a deliverer. We need your house, shy Because the Lord is very perfect. The, the Lord is, like I said, the Lord is like, he, he likes to, um, that is out of course, the Lord is very, uh, very particular with his things, the way he is. You can tell the Lord's character, the Heavenly Father, he's very particular, B. So if you do, if you've messed up on one thing, he's not going to say, well, you know what? You messed up not one thing, you're good for the, no, 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 no. The Lord is so particular with his, with his laws and with everything that he does that he had to send his only begotten son, which he loveth, to die for us because of those laws, man. The law is, a, the law is so deep that right. the Lord said, listen, I'm going to have to put my laws inside of you. Right. The only way. So how is how's the man walking around? You shitting and pissing these old corner bodies talking about I'm keeping the law. What you keeping the law? I, right. You're not keeping the law. Right. It's impossible. Right. And that's what Paul was talking about. Right. That's why Paul at the end of the day, he said, Oh wretched man that I am, who's gonna save me from the body of death? He said, Thank the heavenly father for your house shine. That's right. Because he walked the last time your house on this earth, he didn't sit in thought, he didn't sit in action, he didn't do, he was perfect. Because why he was the first prototype of what we were going to be. We're going to be perfect, just like Yahweh shy, right. but they don't understand because they're blinded, and so that's you know why. So as I say this, I'm glad they blinded, bro, because that, that gives me more hope. Because we need to get the fuck out of here. These dudes don't want to get out of here. Right. Y'all want to play games here and shit, man. Right. We're in dire. Listen, we're, we're in dire straits. All right. Dire straits, man. This is serious business. I don't laugh a lot, man. A lot of people ask that. The only time I really laugh a little bit is with, is with my brothers, but I don't laugh, man. Right. I'm a very serious dude, man. Go ahead, bro.
to your point because you asked the question if anybody can keep that law perfect. Right. This is what we're here doing. Uh, Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers and the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. All right, so we're rehearsing the righteous acts. All right? You can't keep the law perfect as the brothers mentioned. It's right. not possible in this right. flesh. Right. Absolutely not possible. Right. Right, so we're rehearsing the righteous acts. You mentioned the Day of Atonement. All right, yeah, we don't necessarily have to keep it, but I got another quick precept. This is Sirach 2 and 16. Because the Lord wants us to make an effort. Right, we right. follow the Lord to our best ability. That's right. Just like, just like the um the priest was saying, we do this thing like, no, I ain't doing that no more. No, that, that's a wrap. No, or, or we say, Lord willing, you haven't fought with you. That's right. We work on that. We work on ourselves. Of course, we're not perfect. We're not going to, we're not proud of I dare not say I'm following the law and I'm perfect, bro. Right, right. I would never say that, bro. Go ahead, bro. Uh, just, to, just to verify, you know, clear something up, too. When the, brother, when the brother said that we don't necessarily have to follow it, he basically means that we're not solely justified by, by the, the keeping of it, but rather we're justified by Yahweh Shai, who is our atonement. So even though we're justified by Yahweh Shai, who is our atonement, we still rehearse that high holy day, that righteous act right. to show and to prove our faith to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai said, I came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill, but to fulfill it. it. Right. So we still do have to keep the laws, but the Lord has allowed us to understand right. that we are not justified right. by the keeping right. of the law, but rather through the grace of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, through faith in Yahweh Shai. But do we then make void the law through faith? The most I forbid. Right. Yea, we establish the law by rehearsing the righteous acts. So we have to keep the laws, but understand that we are not justified by the works right. of the laws. And understand that we have to keep the law of faith right. as well. Right. Because anything that is done without faith is automatically sin. And the wages of sin is death. Right. So that's why we don't, we don't, we don't, um, we don't, what's the best word? We don't throw the law at people up like these other camps. Yo, you following the law? Yeah. How the hell is you supposed to follow the law, bro? Right. You ain't following the law. Right. You're supposed to preach your house shine. Right. You're supposed to preach who they are. Yep. And then that's how you build on that, man. Yep. Because once you fall in love with the Lord, you're not going to want to do certain things, man. Exactly. Yeah. Like committing adultery, eating pork, shrimp, Come crab, on, lobster, dietary, homosexuality, right. this goes on. Right. Right. Starts with your house shine. Starts with your house shine. That, that's the... That's the that's the real. That's our bait. My our bait, the Great Millstone, is your house shine. Right. The bait ain't the law, bro. That's why that's why niggas is getting knocked out. That's why you know Lord ain't dealing with them, bro. All right, Lord's not dealing with you. A lot of these dudes about to get put in the spirit world. These yeah. false these false prophets. You gotta remember, Paul went to when Paul went to um to see other Israelites. He he knew how to maneuver, man. You gotta know how to talk to Jake. Yeah. Yo, don't you know? Don't you know that you're a god? Well, how am I a God? Because, you know, the, the world who the warrior, they call Jesus Christ, he died for us. Yeah. Make them understand. If they can't understand, you just, you you, you dust it, you wipe the dust off your shoulder and keep it moving, man. Right. Yeah, bro. So I may say, too, to add on to your point, and the Apostle Paul was the perfect man for the job because yeah. the Apostle Paul was born in Tarsus of Cilicia, a city of no mean. No mean to mean that it was not a city that was ignoble, but rather it was a city that was noble. Tarsus was known for having a library that rivaled that of Alexandria, Egypt, and Athens. And not only that, but the Apostle Paul was raised up in the law by Gamaliel. So the Apostle Paul was a very learned man. He was able to adapt to the Israelite foreigners that were scattered in Asia Minor, right. even the Stoics. The Apostle Paul knew of the Stoics, and he also knew of the Epicureans. All right? He knew their philosophy, knew their what philosophy. they talked about, what they dived into, so you could relate. Yeah. Right. Apostle Paul knew how to adapt and, re and relate. Yeah, right. You know? That's why the Apostle Paul said, to what? To the Jews, I became a Jew. Exactly. Yeah. To the Greek, I became a Greek. Exactly. You become all things to all men. Right. And that's something that we have to apply when we're out there Teaching. amongst men exactly. in our day to day. Exactly. Which is applying right. wisdom. A good, a good example, too, is for example, like a brother, you might be into um, exactly. music or something or boxing. Yeah. The law could use a prophet that you may be working amongst. That might be in the music of boxing and be like oh where are you in the boxing and then you might start talking about it 
And then, then eventually, the Lord for having me use that as a bait to really win to the, to the fundamentals of the truth. And that's how you fish. Yeah. Because every fish requires a different strategy yeah. in, in, exactly. in catching and baiting. Right. Exactly. You know? It's not about how much we know, it's about applying what we know. Beautifully said, bro. If I may add, because <laughs> y'all brothers said it very well. It is you're not applying or adapting or adding. Or, or, or you know, you brought the analogy boxing of what a person's into. Yeah. Israel is stiff necked, hard headed, and rebellious by nature. Right. They cannot possibly be pulled in by the law. It's impossible because right. they impossible. rebelled against the law. Right. It's because of their rebellion against the law is why we're in our situation. Right. Right. So the law cannot be the bait. Like the brother was saying, you said that thing you about yeah. reeling it in. Now for some it may work. But for most, for the most case, most of these Israelites, the it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. You gotta bring out scriptures. You gotta let them know America is gonna be destroyed. destroyed. You gotta let them know the so-called white man is the devil. You gotta let them know that the Israelites, reel them in. And then you go into yo, you know, you got you gotta stop committing adultery. Yeah. You gotta reel them in. Yeah. You gotta reel them in. You don't approach a stranger on the street. You know you're supposed to be wearing those fringes, right? Huh? What you mean? You know, you know the scriptures. Go get the get the brother, get the law, the book of Deuteronomy. And then you bring out the fringes and then you, you go into, you know what that means? That means you got to keep the laws, brother. You got to keep the laws, sister. You're putting a burden but, on them. You're putting a burden on, a burden on them right. and you lost them. Lost them. What the, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. We out here to let the people know America's about to be destroyed. We're here to prophesy. That come later. The Lord, yes. the spirit of Yahweh Shah and testimony of Yahweh Shah, the spirit of what? Prophecy. Prophecy. We not against the Lord, you dumb numb nuts. We all for it. But we letting you know how the Lord operates, how Yahweh Shah operates. Yahweh Shah wants us to go out there and prophesy and then the laws, the statute, and the commandments, I don't want to say they're subcategories because they're not underneath anything. They're primary things. But in these times, what do you got to do? You got to prophesy. And then you teach the law and you apply the law. We teach you to apply the law. If you can keep it, do it. You know what I'm saying? There's certain laws that you just cannot virtually keep. Cannot virtually keep. And there's laws that you can't keep. Keep it. Exactly. All the law by the Israelites, like I always bring up the, the example, y'all better be put to death adulterers and sodomites and you better be uh, you better be stony witches. There's a lot of witches out in Babylon. Why are there still witches in Babylon? They're supposed to be burnt up. All these million man Israelites, they're supposed to be burnt up. So this point is there's a proper way to do things, bro. A spiritual way to do things. You know what I'm saying? You reel them in, you brought up the analogy. You may see a brolic ass Israelite, Jack, probably a bodybuilder. Body, body, you could bring, you could bring up, you know, yeah, you know, hey, bodybuilding, yeah, back in the, you know, you know where the term gym come from, my brother? Yeah. You go right. back to naked, you go back to the Greek. You know how people used to be up in that? Yeah. You know, you're Israelite, you know how people, and then you, you could be like, you know, them Mr. Olympians, and them, them gods, and they chill, you know, that's you, brother. I can, I can show you this. And now you got him. That's like you got him because he's passionate about bodybuilding. He's like, yo, damn, the scriptures talk about all of that? You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Possible except oh, Dad, quiet eye, bro. quiet eye. <laughs> you know? Like so, you just hear these dudes, these dudes just be, and he, he, you see like, yo, these dudes ain't huh? no prophets, bro. Oh, you got, you got the movie? Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's about applying the things that are written. And we're not saying that we're perfect, but we strive for the mastery as it is written, as we all should. All right, so that we may please you, how about you, me, how shot? Yeah, because we know that nobody's gonna step you, how about you, how shot? Right. Okay, all our righteous as filthy rags. Yep. And the reason, another reason why the Lord would not, um, um, it's not by our works, because nobody, so, so nobody would boast to heaven. Well, I did all this, I found the Lord completely. I did, I did the Lord better than you. you know, nobody's gonna be arguing about who did the Lord better than anybody. We're all literally by grace. It's something called predestination. The only ones that's making it is the ones that are predestined before the foundation of the world. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's why we hoping that we're up to late. That's why certain things, like like I said, when, when, when somebody can't get, I'm at 11 now, when somebody can't get it, oh shit, well, you know what? It gives me more. Gives me more. Boost my faith up a little bit. Damn, you can't get that? Wow. Well, I can see it. Yeah. So you might not be the elect. Well, how come, how come, how come, how come, how come I can see it? Well, maybe I might be up to hope for elect. The water y'all about to see the Work the thing out. Work the thing out shot. Yeah, excuse me, yesterday I was, uh, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, or the day before yesterday. Thursday, Thursday. I had to take my wife to the hospital. 
for his And I noticed his brother sitting down in front of the hospital. He had two hard open surgeries. Right. And I seen the tick on the test, so I seen the prostitution mark up there, right? right cool, yeah. So I said, excuse me, brother, you Muslim? He said, yeah. And I was trying to explain to him, but he couldn't get it. Mm. He was talking about uh, Jesus and, and Muhammad, all of them from the same bloodline. I said, no, brother, first and foremost, his name was never Jesus. Walked this earth, there was no letter J in the Hebrew alphabet. Second of all, there uh, was no letter J in the alphabet. And second of all, you know, that's, a, that's like a Gentile name, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And whoever put, put that name there, they was gay. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you know, made that up, right. they was gay as, they, as well. But I was telling them about it, and he was still talking about Allah. I said, Allah only means power. Right. So why would you say Allah is God? I said, it's power. He has 99 attributes, Shabba, blah, 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 blah. I said, no, he has one name, and he has one name, and he has... Uh, that's, that's the thing about the Islamic thing. They complicate things. Right, right, right. Allah just means faith in Hebrew. I mean, it means it name. Faith in Hebrew or it doesn't no, no, mean Allah, power? Allah, Allah means power. So power, power. Okay, power. Allah okay, means right. power all right, in all Hebrew. Right. That's all it means. Right, right, right. right. All right? That's not yeah. the name of the Most High and none yeah. of that. They just... That's their that's that's their religion or whatever. Yeah. But we're not Muslim, brother. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And they that's try to incorporate to us them. and they try to make us seem like right. we're the same. Right. We're not. We're Hebrew Israelites. We're right, not, right, right. We're not. We're not Islam. We're not. Right, none of right, that. Right. You know what I'm that's why I try to explain to him, but he couldn't get it. So I said right, to then, myself, then the can't get it. I then yeah, just leave it alone. His, his, our family was from from India, and I said, Yo, brother, do you know what Indian stick means? I said, Savage. He said, Wow. He said, Yo, I gotta get in contact. With him. I never got his number because he kept talking about Allah, who I bought no. Yeah, because yeah, the Lord, look at the end of the day, the Lord, listen, man, the Lord ain't come to save all of Israel, man. Right. The Lord's only come to get the elect. So we, we teach people, we let people know what time it is. If right. they can't get it, it's right. oh well. We did our job. We wiping the blood. We washing the blood off of our hands. That's yeah. the that's my main focus now. Let me just make sure we wash the blood off of my hands because the Lord gave me this understanding to know it, and I'm not going to keep it. No, no napkin, man. We got to go in the house and buy to warn these people. And once we warn them, our people, until that day that we can't go out, we straight. All right, you guys are Hebrew Israelites, and America's coming to an end. That's right, bro. That's Before right. America comes to an end, it's gonna be Jacob's trouble. God's gonna crash, and all hell gonna break loose. That's it. Precept. Y'all gonna need a man of the Lord. That's right. That's it. Precept to your point. Good, yeah, bro. Uh, Second Corinthians four and three. You see, like, we, I'm glad when people walk. I'm, I'm glad. I see, it's twofold. I'm glad. I'm glad when there's somebody's right. here. And I'm glad when people walk by now. At this point, right. I'm glad when they walk by. Because what we're supposed to feel, man, look, Psalm 91, he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. A thousand, a, a thousand shall fall at that, um, um, at that, um, okay, ten thousand at that right and a thousand at that left, okay, but none shall before thee. So these people are going to die. These people are going to be sitting in the streets like dumb. They think we're bugged out. They're going to need a man of the Lord to protect these women. These women are going to be fooled out here. Right. These women are gonna be literally, um, they're gonna be um, um, uh, meanings of, you know, getting things, man. They're gonna be booty. Yeah, bro. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right, so why should we Why should we mourn the people that's lost? Yahweh Shai said, um, let the dead bury the dead, man. They both shall fall into a ditch. Roughly paraphrasing. So we don't care about these people, man. We care about the hope of elect. We're just washing our, well, we're doing what we gotta do. Because, and we're, and guess what? We, the Lord's preparing us. These people ain't prepared for what's getting to go down. We're, listen, we're a lot more prepared than everybody else, man. Because why? Because the Lord, ever since we came to this truth, the Lord has been preparing our minds for it, man. Preparing our minds for what's getting to happen. These people don't know there's gonna be a time that's never been seen before. These people don't know those things, bro. These people don't know that salvation is coming by the fear of the way of what they call UFOs. They don't know that. They don't know that America is going to be destroyed. Like it's going to be the lake of fire. They don't know these things, man. You tell anybody walking on the bike, they be like, yo, you're crazy. So we're, so now I look at it like, oh, that's, oh, I'm glad. I got the reason why. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah took the one verse three. This is the reason why they don't consider. The Oxnova's owner 
Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 to ask know this owner right. and to ask his master's crib. But Israel do not know, my people do not consider. Yeah, they don't consider that we are actually the people of this Bible. They don't consider that out of all nations, every every nation has a God that looks like them, but we're the only people that look, we, have, we got a God that look like our damn enemy. We're the only people that's up in projects under our oppression. Right. We don't got no, we don't got nobody fighting for us. We're only the only people constantly being oppressed. Right. They don't consider these things. So hold up, if God loves us so much, why he put us in slavery? Why he put us in such a hard slavery, man? If God <laughs> loves us so much, they don't consider these things, man. Well, well, well what's going on? If God loves everybody, well, well why, what happens to black folk? Because that sort of look like love to me. Right. And he can show, you know what I'm saying? And you'll find out right in the scriptures. So I was thinking about that today. I'm saying you got in downtown Brooklyn by no spin and, and Fulton. You have the Muslim uh, thing. But what have the Muslim did to Christianity? What did they have done for our people? But I know, I learned it, I'm learning that. It indoctrinated them. We're not, we're not, we're not. It, 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 it indoctrinated our people to what's not the truth. Right. In the ghetto today, you see a bunch of uh, white people, so-called white yeah. people, moving in now. A you bunch know, of you know, you know that you know the Islamic horrible. faith. The Islamic faith. Come they have, they have. The, uh, it's about like forty some percent Caucasian. You know that, right? No, they came from okay, Caucasian. I'm saying though. Yeah. There's, there's Edomite Muslims, brother. Right, 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 right. You understand? So right. that should tell us right there from number one. Uh -huh. That's not the way to go. Right, right. 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 They know it's Edomite, crazy. my crazy. brother, bro. Right, yeah. right. But that's the thing about Islam. Right. Right. That's what you got to get out of that Islamic state. Right. That Islamic thing ain't the way, bro. Right. Well, see, the, the, those brothers, I'm trying to talk to them. They're not even dealing. They're not even dealing. Uh, uh, they're not even, you know, considering they are Israelites. But they say, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Muslim. Right. And guess why? Because they're lost. To they're help lost, them. They're they're lost, them they're six earlier. Yeah, yeah to the help Lord, The Lord made their... Oh, you trying to undo yeah. what the Most High have done? <laughs> right. You know, I, I get it. Right. I get right. it. You trying yeah, to reach right. out, but yeah. you know what? To hell with to them. Hell bro. Right. Right. This, this is where, you, this is where it's at, bro. That's right. Can, can two walk? To, Amos, can two walk together? At least they be in agreement. Right. No. One want to go this way. One want. One, how they gonna walk together? You, if you going right and they going left, how y'all gonna walk together? Right. It's impossible. In other words, let them go their way. You go your way. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's so much. It's easier, bro. You are, you are older man, elder man. You know what I'm saying? Older than, older than us, but. Don't even stress them niggas, bro. Just right. be glad that you can see. Be glad That's that you can see. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Uh, yeah, go, go, go. Hey, the elder mentioned a little earlier that the best way to reel Jake in right. is by talking about, he mentioned the destruction, the MOTV, all of these things that have come. The best way is to warn the people by the fear of the Lord. Right. Yeah. Right? Your brother just mentioned to the lady that was walking by. Dollars about to crash, all hell's about to break. Right, right, the right. best way right. is by the fear of the Lord. Right. Somebody to, to give the warning. We're, we're right. out here to give the warning right. to our people. Real quick precept. This right. is Before, second Real quick, I'm, like, right. I'm sorry. Right. Like a good example would be asking a Muslim, what does the Quran say about America's destruction? That would throw them off. Right. Yep. Like, huh? Yep. Right. Wow. America's right. destruction. Yep. Right. Yeah. I mean, that should be obvious, right? You fucking with them. Using reverse psychology. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm certain the, um, the Quran says something about America's destruction. Now you're gonna throw them off. Like, where you getting that from, bro? Right. Wait, wait, where you getting that from, Aki? Right. Like, oh yeah, well, it's all over the Bible. I mean, right. can't you see what's going on in the world? Right. And how we, and, and the scriptures talk about it? That's if you even want to waste your time with them. Right. right. But that's how you would trip them up. But see, what, excuse me, what, what messed me up with them and, and pissed me off too, they say the Bible's been tampered with. You know what I'm that's, saying? That's all they can say. But let yeah. the brother read that. Yeah, like it. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So the point is, by the terror of the Lord, by the judgments that are coming, the warnings that you get from the men of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, by the terror is how you persuade men right. to listen or to go, oh shit, missiles, what? Right. What's going on? What are you hearing in the news? Right. Wars and rumors of war. Right. Plagues, pestilence, that's what you hear in the right. These are the terrors that are coming. Right. This is how you persuade men to listen and go, right. oh shit, I might need to consider that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Quick point. Point. Quick point, bro. Testimony, I'm sure I, I could probably say it clearly. Every brother you see standing up here, 
was persuaded by the fear of the Lord. Right. That scripture that his brother just That's read. Exactly right. It wasn't, it was the fear of us hearing what's, what's coming, what's about to happen, the Lord's judgment and wrath. Yeah. So we were fearful. And so we're here now. To, to compel you to come out here yeah. every week and do what we do, right? That, there, there's, a, there, there's, a, there's a fear element that comes along with that, right? There's a component of fear that persuades men to come out here and do what we do. We mentioned the Day of Atonement, right? And why we keep the Day of Atonement, right? Real quick. Sirach 2 and 16 says, They that fear the Lord will seek, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Right. We keep the day of atonement because it's well pleasing unto the Lord. That's why we keep the day of atonement. Right? Not that we can even keep it perfect, because hey, some brothers gotta work. Right. right. I had to work. But we keep it because it's well pleasing of the to the Lord, right? It's an act of faith. Exactly. It's an act, act of faith. faith. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. So See? we understand what the law is. We understand that we keep the law, right? But we can't keep it perfect. Right? So we do it because it's well pleasing unto the Lord. That's right. That's the point. Yep. Another thing is, I be I, I, at my job, you know, I never talk with young shit, you know, discuss that with nobody, you know what I'm saying? Right. But me, I discussed it with, with my superintendent, my super, my boss, and I, and I sent them videos, and they tell like, yeah, I'm gonna watch it. But I'm I don't think they, 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 they probably yeah, think that they're not supportive. Yeah, 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 hey, that's yeah, probably yeah, not yeah, a good yeah, idea. It's not, not a good idea. Let me show you your boss and all that kind of stuff. That, this, this stuff, remember, you got to understand, we're under Southern Puppets, Southern Potting List. We're, we're under, we're, we're doing treason, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're Anybody associated with, with, with Hebrews likes, the government will come after you. Right. Because right. it's the truth. Right. Yo, you an Israelite. Yeah, come here. Come over here. Nah, I said you're an Israelite. All right, wait, who's your father? First of all, what's an Israelite? No, no, who's your father, bro? No, no, I'm talking about that's your father. What's your father like? What's your life? Yeah, what's your nationality? What? Haitian. Haitian? So you come, you come back from tribe of Levi. How do we know? We know through history. Scholars, scholars, what's the Israelite? Oh, right here. Israelite are basically the sons of Jacob. Those are the progenitors of Jacob whose name is changed to Israel. Israel means he's a prince of power. Do you know how the Haitians got in that land? Oh, like, it had to do with like France and stuff. How did France, how, how, we're such a powerful people. How did France take over? Take over and put us in slavery? If it's it so powerful. Because of the Lord. That's right. Okay, we, we, the yep, Lord discontinued from our heritage. The Lord yep. put us yeah, in slavery. Lord. That's how we know the way Israelites. The Lord put us in slavery. The Lord put us in slavery. Right. See the bondage. Right. That's how we know. Okay, why do you think Hades in the state that they're in right now? Because why? Because yeah. you guys were the priests. You're actually Levites. Yeah. Yeah. So the Bible mentions us. Yes. 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 I thought the Bible sure does. Like, the Bible that. mentions everybody. So the Bible said that Haitians would um would be using um instruments of cruelty, which is a meaning a lot of sorcery, a lot of witchcraft. The, I'm like, let me ask you this about Haiti. Do you guys kill cats and dogs and stuff like that? But all right, no, then. I haven't, I haven't. Do you know anybody that, that do that? Is it true? Is it true? But is it true? Well, all right. I go over there a couple times. Like I go over there some I don't see that. Yeah, cause that's this damn devil. Okay, trying to make these, you know, good, bro. Like Trump said, right? Yeah. Hey, bro, you saw he said, yo, that's in the Bible? Yo, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Just made up on earlier. <laughs> right. see, 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 how, see how the Lord operates, see how the Lord bro? Operates. The you Not can just, you, 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 you. Let's get it, let's get it. You bro. reel things right back to the scripture. Let's talk about Yes. Go get Deut Deut Deuteronomy the chapter 28 the and start with um, 16. Yeah, start, start with 64. Every, Deuteronomy. Yo, man. Every answer that you, that you seek, brother, Matter of fact, start with 15, then we're going to go to different. Start with 15. We're going to read slavery in the Bible right now, bro. The book of Deuteronomy, yeah, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. So now, this was the Lord speaking to the children of Israel after he delivered them out of Egypt. 
And what happened was the Lord said, since I delivered you out of Egypt, you, we now have to make a contract with each other. The contract is this. I'm your God, I delivered you, and you're gonna follow all my laws. If you don't follow my laws, all these curses are gonna come, gonna come upon you, gonna come upon you. But if you do follow my laws, then you're gonna be blessed upon all nations upon the earth. But if you don't follow my laws, I'm gonna have you cursed upon all nations upon the earth. Right. And you can be a slavery under all nations. Go ahead, bro. If that will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statute, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now all these curses are come upon thee and overtake thee. Don't you know that these curses were for a sign and for a wonder for who the children are today? Right. The curses would be for a sign and for a wonder. Oh, man. Who the hell is why are these people getting treated so harshly? Why are these people, why are these people such in a low state? Why are these people uh, 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 just seem like they got bad luck? Because it's the wonder who we are. Go ahead, bro. Let me jump down the, jump yep. again. Uh, let me go to verse 47. Yep. It says, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, mm -hmm. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, mm -hmm. which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the want of all things. And that's mm -hmm. why Haiti's in the situation that they're in right now. Because right now, because of the white man, which the Lord put, put Haiti under, they're in the want of all things. Yeah. That they come in here to America, asking the devil uh, right. for help. And they know that the white man's the devil that Haiti. Right. You can't tell me they don't know the white man's the devil. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck when you go to until that yoke he has destroyed thee. And when you go to that yoke of iron, it's actually talking about a yoke of metal, an actual, a, an actual chain of yoke around your neck. Yep. What people had an actual iron of yoke around their neck? Us. Keep going, bro. Yeah, hey, bro, it. can I add? Yep. Just to add, this is in history. I know you heard of Toussaint the Overthrow. Yeah. Yoke of iron. That's a yoke of iron. Around thy neck. I just read. You heard of you know you know Toussaint the Overture, right? The the Haitian general, right? Or Levite general, I'ma say, because he's from the tribe of Levi, which are the Haitians, which are your people. Why you think, like the brother is saying, the priest is saying, why you think your people are suffering so badly? Because it goes back to the curses and also your forefather, our forefathers, this man I just mentioned, Toussaint L'Overture. I, I know I'm butchering his name. Excuse you, you want to say it? No. All right, I'm butchering it. I, I, I don't speak Creole or French. You probably going to butcher it too. But anyway, he put his foot up their asses, bro. He led a successful slave rebellion Haitian revolution. It was successful. So when why, are we, why are we cursing the first place? Because we, cause the brother's reading it. We did not. We did not obey. Hold on, bro. We did not obey the Most High's commandments. He gave us. You heard about Moses, right? The Ten Commandments. It was more than ten. It was six hundred and thirteen commandments. But the contract or the agreement was: Listen, y'all are my people. I'm gonna take y'all out of slavery. But after I take y'all, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take y'all out of Egypt, right? I'm gonna take y'all out of Egypt. And after I get y'all out of Egypt, I'm gonna give you laws to follow. If you don't follow it, then the curses are gonna come upon you. But if you do follow it. Who got verse 14? Deuteronomy 28, 14. Deuteronomy 28, 14. Read it. And thou shalt not, and thou shalt not go aside. Read 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. It, it will come to pass if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord, which is the commandments. Go ahead. It says, to observe, to do all his commandments and right. his statutes, right. which I command thee this day, right. that all these oh. curses shall come upon thee and overtake you. Just like if you got a parent and they tell you, yo, listen, if you don't do this, I'm going to beat you. If you, if you do this, I'm going to beat you. If you do good, I'm going to treat you good. If you do bad, I'm going I'm to I'm put, put that belt and hang out and start whacking you, man. So the most high whacked us because we're children. We're his sons. So the point is, you ask, why are we cursed? Because we didn't listen. But the beauty of it is that we are coming back to what the Lord originally intended us to, to, to indulge in. Were we not going into the law of statute commandments yeah, earlier? And here we are teaching this brother bro, about the you, that we should have looked. So, so you up. can't say we don't teach the law of statute commandments. Yeah. He asked why we curse is because we did not listen to the law of statute commandments. But the beauty is, is that we're coming back to who we are. So the blessings is going to come upon us.
You sure? Let me, let me I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I got you. That's that's. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Like a lot of stuff, y'all be like the main people and stuff. Okay. Man, I be seeing a lot of that stuff. Yeah, they, Hold they, on, bro. They, brother, brother, you got time. And I honestly thought it was like big plus commandments, you know. Like, it is. Gotta, it you is. Gotta, you gotta try your best. It is. You, know, you, 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 best, you absolutely you know, correct, bro. You, know, you gotta have the faith in Jesus. Absolutely. Yeah, how was shot? Yeah. Be before you go. All right. His name ain't Jesus. It ain't Christ. His name is how was shot? All right. If you gonna take anything with you, like your boys and them. They gonna go ride, you know. They ain't gonna leave you. You know what? Yeah. It is what it is. The scriptures talk about when a, when a person hear the word, here comes the the yeah, wicked one. Here comes the devil yeah, that, that so come and pluck them. Yeah. So your your man's and them, yeah, they your boys and shit. But really, this right here is gonna determine your future. Your, let me tell you this: shit is about to hit the fan real soon, my brother. Shit's about to get crazy. You think you know, but you really don't know the magnitude of it. If you really really knew, you'd be like, ah, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Right. I ain't telling you what to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. You pulled up for a reason. What you do now is on you. Yeah. But listen, I want to get the cur real quick. I want to show you something real quick. Give me two more minutes. Get the first book. Get the part, the, the real specific part. Yeah. Where we're going to be sold on all stuff. So, box. Let me get it. It, says, 68. it says, um, it says, Deuteronomy 28. You want me to go to 68? Go to, so, go to 47. Go to 68. Okay. Get the. Okay. Yeah, I just read. The, uh, the, just... the tender woman. Get the tender woman. Bro. I got you. Verse 56. Check this out, bro. Now, hold Let me ask this. You ever watch 12 Years Slave? Go by Uncle Tom. Make sure, let me tell you something. When you hear these things, I want you to watch slavery movies. Because think about it for a second. Go to um, get your well when you sold a, bo a, sold a boy for wine, and, and, and a, um, a girl for wine, a boy for, um, yes, yeah, for a harlot. Because, if I tell you, it's very specific. The Lord did it specifically talking about slavery. About us, bro. Because think about the wickedness that happened to our people by the enemy. That's that's a different level of wickedness. But why that happened? Go ahead, bro. Deuteronomy 2856. The tender and delicate woman Who's among you. The tender and delicate woman, our mothers, our sisters. Those are they were getting raped in front of us. Think about it. we was getting separated from our parents. That happened to us, bro. Right. There's a war happening right now, right in front of you. People don't know it. There's a war against you, against me. Go ahead, bro. The tender and delicate woman among you, uh -huh. which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness uh -huh. and tenderness, uh -huh. her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. You see? So why, why do you think the father's leaving out the houses? Why do things always beef against the, the mother? Why is the father never there? Is your father in the house? Come on, bro. Read that again, bro. No matter the term of baby mama drama. Why is that amongst our people? You don't see that with the white people. You don't see with China. You don't see with East Indian. But why is that our people? Why are we so cursed? Think about that for a second. Because we gotta be the people, man. That's right. This is a, this is a, hold on. Let me tell you something. This is a controversy with our people in the Lord, bro. This is a great controversy happening, bro. Right. These are heavy curses upon our people. And the main thing you should be doing is trying to find out answers, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, Her eye shall be evil toward her husband of uh -huh. her bosom, uh -huh. and toward her son, and toward her daughter. Uh -huh. Keep right. going. And toward her young one that cometh out from between and her feet. And toward her young one that cometh out between her feet. Who's the, what What denomination of people are, um, are highest in the abortion rates? Our people, bro. They said the worst place for um, for a black man to be is in the womb of a black woman, a so-called black woman. But why all these persons? And why are these people capitalizing on our curses? Keep going. He says, for she shall eat them for want of all things, uh -huh. secretly in the siege and straightness. Yeah, because why? Because our, 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 the, the mothers have been cold, man. Cold toward their children. Yeah. You don't yeah, find that with the Asian woman, bro. You don't find that with the East Indian woman. Go to 64. Verse 64, that and the be. Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord shall scatter thee among all people. We come from, you, you're a Levite. I'm, I'm, um, I'm a Benjamite. I'm Trinidad and you, you, you Haitian, right? We come from where? We come from Jerusalem. We come right. from the east. But how the hell we get over here, man? On slave ships to people that said that we were monkeys hanging off the trees when we were very intelligent people. We're not, we're not animals. Ahead, bro. That's why it says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth uh -huh. to the other, 
from one end of the earth to the other. That's the transatlantic slave trade that we were forced to go upon. Where over a hundred million of people died even before they um they got over here, bro. Right. That was a harsh thing, bro. But they but this is what you ask the Christian next time. If God loves everybody, why did God do that to black folk then? If God so-called loved everybody, because they don't know the Lord, bro. Go ahead, bro. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Serve what? Other gods. What's that? Keep going. Which neither. Thou know thy fathers have known uh -huh. even wood and stone. That's your Christianity. Wood is the, the cross, which is the, which is the wooden cross. He died on the cross, and that stone that Kabbalah that people going through every year. The Lord told them, talk about this over 2,000 years ago, bro. That's what our people are stuck on, man. Keep going, bro. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. So shall I find what? No ease. Where we live at? We live in the projects. We still getting hung. And guess what? There's no accountability for it. So what's gonna happen? Who's fighting for us? But if we do something to a Chinese person, we do something to anybody else, we go to jail or we under the jail. Why is the 13th Amendment that the slavery is abolished except if you're a prisoner? But the prisons are, co are covered or filled with our people. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Think about that for a second. You should be mad, bro. Because we're being oppressed on every side and nobody here to help us. But guess what? There is somebody here here to help us. The Lord has not forgotten us, bro. Quick, and he bro. sent his prophets to tell our people that. Bad, bro. How do you fight back? The brother just said it. You're a young brother. You should be mad about it, right? How do you fight back? Turn it back to these scriptures, right? You don't go out there and try to fight something back to Being contrite with the Lord, being broken hearted, say, I don't want to go off no more. That's right, if this what if this is state, if this is the state that my people in because of us going off, that I don't want to ever go off again, That's man. Right, and then you fight. Go, bro. It says, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, uh -huh. neither shall the soul of thy foot Why? have rest. Why? Because there are enemies. We're not here to hold hands with these people, bro. Right. Right. There are enemies. Why are we in the projects? Why do we have something called redlining? Why is there something called environmental racism? Why does somebody that had the same credentials as you, right? Another uh, a Caucasian, but then they're living a better life than you are. They can right. go to the bank. They're, why is their parents living better than you and, the, and, and, uh, and, and, and your, your parents? Because is it because they're better than us? Nope. No, man, because they were given opportunity to, man. We're the greatest people on the planet. That's right. Go ahead, bro. But the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart. See, the Lord shall do what? Give thee a trembling heart. Do white boys get scared when cops pull them over? Right. No. My daddy's a judge. But why do we get scared? We get, we, listen, we're terrified every single time, man. Yeah. Why is that? Because the Lord gives us a trembling heart. State, right, because this place is not our rest, <laughs> man. You're in slavery. That's right. That's You're right. in captivity. You're giving a social security number and put, put in a box and to serve this devil till you, till you till your back is broke, man. We need salvation. And that's, that's the right. name that's of the great, Lord. Brother. His name is Yahweh Shai. Right. He is the deliverer. And he looks just like you. That's right. America ain't it. That's America what they're not, not telling us about, man. Brother. Go ahead, bro. This, this is the place of our captivity. This is the place of our captivity. It says, but yeah, the bro. Lord shall give thee a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes. And failing of eyes. Why are failing of eyes? Because we don't see no future. Maybe we see our people getting trotted down. Look at Baltimore. Look at Brooklyn. Look at Louisiana. Look at all the projects that people are in. Look at the state that our men are in right now, man. That's right. The whole head is sick, man. Read that again. It says, it says, uh, slot here, bro. Um, back to what you Go back to what Failing eyes. Go. Failing eyes. Yep. It says, it says, but the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes. And failing of eyes because you don't see no future here, man. Uh -huh. uh, 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 young men your age, they only see what? Making it through sports and through rapping? Right. Right. Are you fucking kidding yeah. me, man? Yeah, exactly. Am I supposed to be happy? You're in slavery, man. Right. And they're not going to tell you that. You're in a battle that you don't even know. You're, you're, you're in war. You're at war, bro. And they're not going to tell you that. They're going to keep you asleep until they rock you to the spirit world, man. Right. Go ahead, bro. It says, and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. It's failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Why do you think most of our people's in what? In the psychological um, 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 facilities, man? Because it's damn devil. All right, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, brother. All right, bro. All right, bro. Follow GMS yeah, on YouTube, man. Yeah, man. You yeah, said man. you've been watching the debate, so you yeah, had to watch it. Yeah, my phone is dead. That's why I was about to follow them.
GMS. Right, my brother. GMS. Wait, right? Great millstone, great yeah. millstone. Great millstone. Yeah. Yeah, don't take that RFID teacher because of the market of beast. Right, right. All right? right. Man, if I could bring out yeah. what I so wanted to bring out to the brothers verse 54, because yeah. that's something that could resonate with our people. Deuteronomy 28 54 says, yeah. so that the man that is tender among you yeah. and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Yeah, and that's what, that's what you see going on, left and right. Yeah. Yeah. Our people killing, killing each other, man. Via the way of these gangs, which is all do do um, um, Cortel Pro, you know Esau doing the type of wickedness, but really it's the curses, man. The Lord has done all these things to show us that we the people of the Lord, man. Hey, it says that I shall be evil towards their brother. How do our people look at each other as ops? Ops, yeah. We're one, yeah. we're one another's ops, right? right? on some shoot em up bang bang yep, shit. Right, like right. that's the spirit that's on our people in the in the, in the hood, that's right? right? Yeah, yeah. Our people are, e Jake is easily offended right, by right. some stupid shit, by right, some right. bullshit, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? It don't even be about nothing. Right. And guess what? It's mostly about some woman, yeah. right? Money. Some evil, evil, wicked ass woman for some a couple dollars, right? Yeah. I, it, I, it says our eyes shall be evil towards our brother right. over some bullshit. That's a oh, curse. Yeah. So what about Esau that's poured in the water, the pool, yeah. Of course, you guys are Israelites, and America's about to be destroyed. He propagates it, brother, brother. He propagates it. He has the power. This is Edomite supremacy. Right. So-called white supremacy. Right. So he pushes it forward because he's the wicked. Right. That's what he was created to be. He was created to be the adverse side of the Most High. Right. So he can't do right. No. Even if, even if, like the scriptures say, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. Yeah. Because why? He's creating, because he's the he's the wicked, right. and he's got the power right. That's for the lie. time being. Right. Right. So he's going to do everything in his power to propagate more curses upon his his enemies, which is us. He knows that he's we're his enemy. Right. These Edomites, they right. know. Because why? In the spirit, we're Jacob and they're Esau. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's the constant it. thing, yeah. brother. It ain't going right. to stop. Right. All right, they're not. They're, they're, listen, they're, 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 Edomites ain't gonna stop what they're doing. And brother. they're not gonna let you know that they know that they Edomites. Right, right. This is why they're not gonna let us know that we. They will never let us know that we Israelites. They're yeah. shocked right now. That let me tell you, the, the elite's main target. Their main target is not uh, not two thirds of their main. We're their main target because this this truth is a, starting with one nine sixty nine. Look at the wildfire that this truth has. That, that this is getting out of hand. Right, 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 right. All over the world. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right, right. We are the main problem. Right. Because why? We're we're we're, we're letting it, we're letting it go. Right. What it say? Yo, what it say? The Thessalonians. By the fire of his mouth, <laughs> we're gonna consume them by the fire. Those things gonna consume them by the fire of his mouth. And right. it also right. says, render the calves of our lips <laughs> as a sacrifice. <laughs> you render the calves of our lips. Our calves, the, the 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 sacrifice, the calves. Is our of our is our mouth. Right. So we we sacrifice in our own body to bring this truth. Right. Right. Hey, Romans 12 and 2. Right. Be not conformed right. to this world. That's right. But be ye transformed in your minds. Yep. All right? right. Bringing the truth out yep. in a world full of lies and the hypocrisy is the greatest weapon. Like 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 what does that saying goes? When 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 there's when there's lies being told, the truth is uh fiction or something like that. Oh, the truth is, truth is stranger than fiction. fiction. The truth is stranger truth than fiction. Is stranger than fiction. Yeah. That's, that's a fact. Truth in the world of lies, truth is stranger, stranger than fiction. fiction. Right. And that's exactly what we're experiencing right now, brother. That's what you're seeing with all of these jakes coming around. Right. Yep. All of our people, look at what our people are doing right now. They're selling things, they're selling everything that ain't nailed down. Bro. Right. Yeah. And they still, they still complain about how they broke. Yeah. They gain all kinds of benefits from the government and still complaining how they broke. Why? Because it's the system of Edomite supremacy. That's why. And it's not going to stop until Yahweh Shai returns. And that's why we need that salvation to return to us, man. Because this, this, this insane asylum called America, all right, is about to get burnt the fuck up. Right. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. And listen, just and, and going pee, pee, piggybacking, we more into land back, land back in slacking, land backing. We're more in danger than than two thirds, man. 
because like I said, we, listen, we're the main target, man. When they talk about Rex 84 and Project McGee, I'll be listening to, I was listening to that the other day, all right? Whoever the, whoever's on the red list, and we clearly know, this is not a problem. We on the red list, all right? The, you know what the red list consists of? As soon as they send, they choose them, because one of the brothers had a dream, the troops was coming at them, and he played um the second purge, the first purge. He said it was just like that when um the stairwell is, um, he played the stairway to hell, when the, when the, when the soldiers were coming in and just going to the apartment, so it was like that. But at the end of the day, we, we the first ones they coming after. Why? Because we're the problem. Why? Because it's really, just like the brother saying, Esau versus Jacob, Right. The, the the elites versus the elect. Why do you think they're making super soldiers? What scripture is that? What? That you just said. What I said. The elite versus. Uh, no, it's Jacob. Really Jacob. It's Jacob and Esau because that right. class gonna come. Right. Good is set against, against evil. Yeah, good is set against evil. Oh, um, um, they, they, they sons of or 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 um. Oh, Zion. They sons Joel, of Zion against the, against their sons of Greece. I okay, think that's yeah, Amos. That's okay. Is it Joel? No, nah, that's um, oh, okay. they, they sons of Zion against they sons of Greece. Right. Like the yeah. great clash is coming between Jacob and Esau. We have, we're, we're all, we're on unfinished business. Yeah. So okay. how's the law gonna set it up? It's gonna be Zephaniah 913. Zephaniah 913. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's Esau's technology against uh, against Jacob's gift that was given to him, spiritual power. Yeah, right. and if I may add, Esau is gonna try to come and get brothers before spiritual power. <laughs> Yeah. Not knowing that that's when we gonna get the spiritual Not powers. We gonna get it. You know when they going when they gonna try to get the brothers, the brotherhood, the body, the elect yeah, from the apostles on yeah. down. We yeah. saw know who's who. These at least they know who's who. We're on their list and it's all right. That's right. You know we playing it like we playing it normal. We not out here acting all paranoid and we living right. our life regular. That's it. Right. We not letting that shit hinder us. Right. You on the list too, Esau. Right. Uh, right. You on the most right. 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 You damn elite. You on the list too. Trust me, we got a list. 83rd chapter. I'm, I'm gonna look in the camera and say that. Yo, Esau, we got a list too. You know what I'm saying? I actually got a list at home. With, I'm joking. I ain't got a list at home. But I'm, but I'm gonna make one though. I'm checking it twice. It won't be a bad idea. Bad idea. You remember my brother from HOI said, uh, yeah, we gotta think of what we gonna do to Esau. But, but I'm saying myself. Ain't nothing wrong with that if you want to think of that. Yeah, yeah. The scripture terror. said that we going to meditate terror. Med ain't nothing wrong terror. with that. I ain't saying anything wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. But I believe the Howard Shah going to give us the power and whatever. Absolutely, of course. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the be day. Us that's thinking. The Lord said I would do according to Edom. I would do an Edom according to mine angle. Right. That's in the scriptures. I would do according to Edom. I would do an Edom according to mine angle. Right. Now, if we want to think about what we're going to do to Esau for fun, by all means. Oh, okay. But ultimately, the Most High is going to do what he wants us to do to Edom according to his angle, according to the scriptures. So, you know, we, we get we get together and talk our shit okay. and say what we're going to do to Esau when right. that time comes. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, okay. You know, right. I know you wasn't saying nothing's wrong with that, right, right. but there ain't nothing wrong with that. Right, right. Matter of fact, when you want, on your time, think about what you want to do to Esau, bro. I encourage you. Right, right. This is Zechariah uh, 9, verse 13. When I have bet Judah for me, fill the bowl with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. That one more time. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 13. God. When I have bet Judah for me. When I have bet Judah for me, which is the southern tribe, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Uh -huh. Fill the bowl with Ephraim. Fill the bowl with Ephraim. So the Lord is basically going to make the house of David the weapons. Because that's basically all Israel. Judah and Ephraim. That's the house of David. The southern tribe and the northern tribe. When I fill the bowl. Read that again, my bad. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 12, I start from 12. Uh -huh. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. And see, and that's what we are, we prisoners of hope. Who's the stronghold? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. They're our stronghold. Right. Why? Because we're prisoners of hope. We need you to get us out of here. Right. Right. And we want to see the fall of our enemies. You see, you feel what I'm saying, brother? This is, this is, we're, we're at war, bro. This is not a... This, this is not a love either, but we, there's a controversy going on, bro. Right. Look at the state of our people. Right. Look at how you got rappers admitting like, yo, if I do try to put some controversy out, they ain't standing. Matter of fact, they ain't putting that shit out. But the, the worse, the more degenerative the music, the more money I get. Right. Look yeah. what's going on. And right. that's the right. whole right. meaning of selling your soul. Right. 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 All right. Like, because you, you pretty much right. forget who you are. Right. Like, look at, look at Snoop Dogg. Look right. at... Dr. Dre, right. look at 
my God, uh, Denzel Washington, all of these guys. And you they can't. All, yep. no, I was gonna say real quick. I say you cannot help your people once you. That's, that's what I heard in the interview. I'm just the chat. Once you get to a certain level, you can't help your people. That's what these devil tell you on a contract. You are not to help your people. What? You can't build schools. You can't do yeah. none of that shit, bro. Yeah. This is how the ML, This is how MLA get down. We talking about the so-called Jews, man. Wow. They run that industry, brother. I understand that. Yeah. Brother wants yeah. to open up a church for like a million dollars. He went yes. to all the churches under a C under a five hundred one C three. No, brother. Brother. Check it. He went to all the churches. The churches gave him a number to call. In other words, this place helps these churches. Right. So he went to the place, they said, yeah, we could give you the money, but you can't teach the truth. That's it. And he said, yo, my, my teach, I'll teach it the truth. He said, well, you can't get it. That's the meaning of selling your soul. All right, you take you take worldly riches in, in, in exchange for your integrity and your character, especially when it comes to your people. You sell your people a false hope and a false dream you sell them a song, you sell them a song, a song and dance that's going to keep them in a, in a in a degenerate state of mind. That's what all of these rappers are guilty of. And these that's comedies, all these entertainers yeah, are guilty entertainer, of. Comedy, yeah. All of them are guilty yeah, of that. Yeah, NFL players and basketball and players. NFL, wow. you name it. Any yeah. any any venue, boxing, that you can see that's popular in this world, you know that is ran by the so-called Jew, right. and they got their hand in these. It's like Urban, what's his name? Urban, what did he say? Something about uh, Semitic or something like that. And anti Semitic. Anti Semitic. And they suspended him for five weeks or something like that. Yeah, why? Because. And guess what? I don't know who got the HOI, power. I mean, not HOI. Um, Nick Daniel, you know, they're marching, right? It's like about a thousand of them marching to uh, to the Barclays Center. they all around there. Ba, ba, ba. And then, no, 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 and then what he did with the money? He gave the money to the Muslims. He gave the money to the Muslims. Yeah, but well, they put they 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 chartered they chartered their school as a Muslim school. Right. Anyway, you know um what I was gonna say. Matter of fact, bring out a scripture because I yeah, so reading on it says, Turn you to the stronghold, Zechariah chapter nine, verse twelve. Turn you to the stronghold. You know who you can't criticize? You find out who's in power. Those that are in power, you can't criticize them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the so-called Jews. Right. Why did why why everything falls apart in an entertainer's life? Right. When they start to say something conscious right. Right. towards their own people. Yep. Because of the so-called Jews, our, our top enemies, they don't want us to know these things. Yeah, right? bro. They want our people in the same, they want our people to still be slave and, and low. Right. They don't want our people to rise above. Just like Martin Luther King, right? Yeah, like Martin Luther King. That's a great example. Right. He was the ultimate sellout. Right. <laughs> but when he was Martin Luther King, was the ultimate sellout. Like yeah, but, but listen. Look, but look, but look. But when he was about to speak the truth, that's when they killed him. And he didn't get killed by the bullet. Yeah. He got killed by the guy spitting his face and smuggled him in, in the hospital. Because they showed the eyes. And, and then they got a scripture in the Bible about Martin Luther King. It says, there will be a false prophet that will say, I have a dream, I have a yeah, dream. Yeah, that's in the Bible. And that prophet would be put to death. And that's so always, that's always anybody, been the case with Israel. Right. Because that's the thing how Israel would know that somebody was divinely inspired. That right, right. Some, that, that God came to him in a dream or some, some supernatural happened to them. Mm -hmm. So those dreams... It doesn't only apply to Martin Luther King, of course. It applies to the false prophets as well. Right. Oh, I'm going to You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, Martin Luther King Jr. is a major example. Right. He screwed up a I lot of dream. dreams. Yeah, he screwed up a lot. Took my arm um, well, hand in hand. Well, look, he was part of a, he was part of, I got to bring it out. Right. He was part of a soror, uh, fraternity called right. Alpha, Phi, Al, Alpha Phi Alpha. Right. He That's never a picked black, by Greek. Fraternity. Right. You know anything about black Greeks? They're right. nothing but a bunch of homosexuals. Right. Whoa. That's a fact, bro. Yep. Alpha Phi Alpha, brother. Mm. That's the fraternity that Martin Luther King was a part of. Wow. And I believe Malcolm X was a part of it too. But don't mm. quote me on that. Right. But I know Martin Luther King, we call him Martin Lucifer King. Yeah. He was a part of a, 
a, a Greek fraternity called Alpha Phi Alpha. Hey, it's almost like a code amongst those fraternities because you see a lot of people who graduate from these colleges right, and right. they're part of these fraternities. Right. You'll see somebody, you, you, you'll come across another Alpha and it's cold. They, they yeah, all like, know. I noticed that. They all know yeah. what it is amongst one another. That's why they keep it so tight. They'll see another Alpha and that'll be, they'll go to bat for them. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there's a there's a is a unity, yep. right? Like Masons, um, amongst them. Like Masons, yeah. Almost to a degree, like Masons, like the Boule, exactly. exactly. Like Boule, it's, yeah. it's all masonry, Boulay. right? It's That's all it masonry, right? You understand? Which is witchcraft, right? Right. Mm. The Lord said, "I don't suffer a witch to live." Right. We're not out here performing no witchcraft to you, brother. Right. right. We are giving you the truth of your how about you, how shot. Yeah, yeah. The Holy Spirit. Right. Right. Not no Allah, humdulillah, none of that. Right, right. All right? right. You use wisdom, of course, when you're dealing with these, these people. But that's about it. When it comes down to the nitty gritty, it's about your how about your how shy, the Holy Spirit. All right? Don't get mad and nothing like that. The scriptures say, be angry, sin not. That's right. Say that again. The scriptures say, be angry, sin not. Sin not, sin not meaning. Sin not meaning, don't break the commandments. Oh, okay. Because sin is what? Transgressing of the law. Okay. The scriptures also say, surely oppression make up a wise man mad. Right, 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 right. right. So be angry, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Might be all the time. You gotta be angry. If you're not angry about this shit, then you ain't right. Yeah, something ain't right. And if you could see it, and if you could see it, like in Detroit right now, I, you know, I talk with this doctor in Cross Street where I work at. He said, yeah, I just came from Detroit. He said, it's beautiful out there. He said, I see a lot of my people out there, they got all the houses. I say, what? You know, he said, yeah, but there's, there's, there's a little part of, of the slums over there. So in other words, what they did, they tore down the houses, fixed up the place. Now they got the people from the other world come over here, and now they living the life. We can't live the life. Yeah, if I could say to you real quick. That's horrible. That pissed yeah, me off. I ain't say nothing. Yeah, that me mentioned, uh, he, he mentioned uh, be angry and sin not. You right. can be angry. But don't let that lead you to do some stupid shit. Right, right, right. right. Don't let it lead you. Don't let that turn into your behavior. Don't oh. let, you know what I'm saying? Don't let it affect your behavior. Don't go to because jail the scriptures say, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. So why you out here amongst this world, whether you got your job and you got shit going on, somebody might piss you off. Right, right. You know, you can't be super Israelite. You know what I'm saying? You got to be wise. You got to use wisdom right okay because that's how we go and get through the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times that's right right the wisdom that comes from these scriptures is what's going to keep us stable in these last days because all hell is about to break loose right so you can't let your anger then in turn get you in trouble uh, uh be angry but sit not that's that's right. the point it says, right. let, not, Thank you, let not the sun go down on your wrath. Right. Keep and things, things done on a hand can bring like irre irreversible yeah. consequences. So I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be angry and thinking about yeah. those yeah. crazy. Yeah, we all do, bro. We all do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, like, you know what I'm saying? Because look, bro, we in the flesh. That's right. We in the flesh, so those emotions are always present. Right. right. You understand? Mm -hmm. But we got to we gotta pray to the Lord and see the bigger picture. Pray to the Lord and see the, and, and ask for the just ask him for more patience. Right. Ask the Lord for more patience. We always gotta pray. We always gotta pray. Pray, pray, pray. If I can, Elder Bro, that's also what's good about having a brotherhood. Because we all still get tested in the world. We all wanna revert back. Right. But we got a brotherhood and we can make a call and be like, yo, bro, I'm right? And we, and you know, you got issues with somebody. You know, you, 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 you got a brother you can turn to and call who can give you the counsel that this brother that you just said you appreciate right. his yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. You got that type of line to, to somebody who right. can guide you. You know what I'm saying? So you don't enact that anger out on something. And, and, and it so also brother, comes with all different facets of our, of our life. The elder mentioned uh, oppression make up a wise man. Man, you could be feeling oppressed even in your own home. Right? Yeah. Amongst your woman, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And, you can be, and you don't and you don't want to lead that, you right. don't want to lead that, let that make you do some stupid shit. Right. Right? 
You got to use wisdom. And that's what it's really all about. In this time that we're in now, you're going to have to use wisdom, man, right. to get you through everything that right. you're going through. Whether it's at your job, whether it's whether we're at home, wherever you at amongst Jake, um, in, in the world, somebody might, you know, do something. They might, well, you know, you know how it is. Right, somebody right. Bump, you might, somebody right. might say some shit to you. Right, right, a, you right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, but you got to use wisdom, bro. Right, right. And when you come into this thing, you are going to be tested be with tested. that. That's a part of it. People are going to be coming at you all kind of ways, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying, to throw you off. Trust me, it get bad. It get it's bad. bad. It's going to get bad. It's been bad for us. It get bad. And so you got to stay spiritual. Right. right. Scriptures talk about Shalom. Shalom. Uh, what's the scripture that says, um, uh, enmity with the Most High? Uh, 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 Carnal minus enmity. Enmity with the Most High? Right. Well, I'm not thinking about the other one. Uh, Close out. Yeah, so we're gonna close out. Yeah, we're gonna close out, bro. You got it, Wawa. Uh, yeah, so Shalom, Shalom. We're gonna close out, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, and Kabbadash. Shalom to the apostles and elders, double honors. Shalom to the Akim. See y'all. Baba Ball. Baba Ball.